Hi guys, Josh here and welcome back to another live stream. Welcome back to actually not welcome back, but welcome to Rune Factory 4 special. I'm so 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 excited. Rune Factory 5 is coming in less than a month for the Japanese version. And yeah, I've been wanting to go back to Rune Factory 4 for a little while. So the last time I played this game was actually uh, on the 3DS when it came out like in 2012 or 2013 so that was quite a few years ago so actually I don't I remember I like this game a lot but I don't remember too much like in details about it because I I almost finished it once but I didn't finish it quite completely so yeah I'm just excited to go back to it and I just got the game yesterday and yeah I hope you guys are doing good hi Ashton hi Rox yeah, let's just... Oh, we should, maybe we should have watched the little intro, but you know what? Let's just start, and uh, yeah, I hope you guys are doing good, and yeah, so let's start. Yeah, my copy finally arrived, so <laughs> actually I ordered this game on February 26th. It was on sale on Amazon, it was like $29.99, so it was super cheap, but... Um, it seems like it was out of stock and <laughs> it took over two months and I just got it yesterday so yeah this choice will make you a male character do you want a male character yes so yeah I hope you guys are doing good this ship is heading to the town of Selfia so yeah I've been so excited <laughs> so that's why I'm doing this little extra stream I couldn't wait um, I couldn't wait to play so I'm now trying to deliver this gift to her. I don't have much time. At least you have this to play while waiting for Rune Factory 5. Yeah. Well, there's a lot of things I have to play at the moment. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not short on games, but I'm glad I got it before I got Rune Factory 5. Um, so yeah, that's good. So excuse me, how close are we to Selfia? Oh, we're almost there. Are you setting out to do a bit of sightseeing? Yes, something like that. It's a real nice town, beautiful air, beautiful air and scenery, and got a great atmosphere. You can feel the protection of the god when you're standing on them roads. Hey Josh, this is your first time playing Rune Factory 4. It's not my first time, but I played in like 2013 or so when the game came out. And so it's been, <laughs> it's been quite a while, right? Almost like eight or so years, so it's been quite some time. Hi, Dania. Hope you're doing good. So I don't remember much. I like I don't remember <laughs> the story. Good. It doesn't look too bad for a 3DS game, right? I was kind of skeptical. I, I wasn't sure how is it gonna look like on a bigger screen, but you know what? It still holds up quite well, actually. Well, it's still early, but I think it looks pretty good. Hey, Mabzaz, hope you're doing good game looks really good. It is a really good game. It's just, it's a 3DS port, so just keep in mind that hey, graphically it might not be the best thing ever, but it is a really fun game. Press L to find the pocket. Right, let's fight. Quite easy. That was quite easy. This is one of the best games for farming mixed with RPG and you will fall in love with the characters. Good luck choosing who to marry. Yeah, I know it's such a good game. I don't remember. So last time I played Rune Factory 4, I don't think I married anyone yet because I didn't finish the game. Actually I don't I don't remember the characters too much, honestly to be honest. If someone's after it, I have to hurry. Wake 
up already. Finally. Phew. So what are we doing again? Just shut up and watch. Now then, it's time you tell us where that thing is hidden or else... Um, I don't know. Who are you? Who am I? Say something. But I thought you told me to keep my mouth shut. Whatever, just do what I say. It's such a tyrant. Sorry. Excuse me. Who are you? Are you trying to play dumb with us? This is so confusing. I really don't know. I'll ask you again. Where the hell is that thing you are holding? I swear, I don't know what you're talking about. Sir, sir, what is it? I thought I told you to shut up. Sir, might be amnesia, sir. What? Are you saying a low blow to the head like that called amnesia, sir? I don't know, sir, but maybe. Hmm. Perhaps is it amnesia? How can you lose your damn memory so easily? I think in Rune Factory 5 we're gonna have amnesia again, right? I feel like it's always the same thing. You shouldn't cry over spilled milk, sir. Damn it. Wait a minute. How do we know you're not just playing with us like fools? This could be a trick. A dirty, rotten ploy. This makes me want to pick up the game again. You should, you totally should. You definitely should. Take this fool over there and we'll see if a little spot of threatening brings out the truth. Understood, sir. What? Hey, stop. Uh -oh. I don't remember. Are they gonna throw me down the ship or? What exactly do you intend to do to me? I'm going to answer. What is it? How do threats work again? You just use the altitude. How do I have to explain everything? Oh, what? Oops. Yeah. Hi guys, just you this game is available in Spanish. I'm pretty sure it must be. I know you can choose the language, but... I'm pretty sure it is, but... Dare me, what should I do? Ah, uh, the music. <laughs> Just the music brings back so many memories. What? What? Huh? As much as I love Harvest Moon the Swiss, I've never actually played Rune Factory. This looks interesting. It is definitely interesting. And it's a lot more kind of story focused. But... Yeah, just the combat and everything. It's just so much fun and there's just so much to do. And what? yeah, definitely, um, as I said, I never finished the main story in Rune Factory 4 when I played the last time. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to finish everything before Rune Factory 5 comes out. And I don't think so, but Can it be? yeah, anyway, <laughs> you aren't dead, are you? And also last time I played was on my 3DS and it was a Japanese 3DS. So it's my first time actually playing the game in English. So yeah, it feels different. Uh, less headache. <laughs> oh. My back hurts. Yes. Um. So only back pain after falling from the heavens. Just what kind of body do you have? What? What is it? A talking dragon. If RNG is on your side, maybe you can. Yeah, I've heard there's a lot of RNG involved for like cutscenes and things, right? They actually talk. Yeah, I like the little <laughs> lines of dialogue. Well, all right, I suppose introductions are not. the divine wind. You heard it from her, one of the legendary native dragons governing this world. And I don't care if you've fallen from above, you have no right to enter this chamber unpermitted. What's your name? Me, lady. What in the world was that noise I just heard? Thanks for discovering new games for us, it's very helpful. You're welcome, actually it's <laughs> quite an old game, but if it helps you discover something, well I'm glad. Uh, who is this name? I said, wait, we are talking now. Yes, uh -huh. So, who are you? Well, okay, so I'm gonna... Oh, so cute. Enter a name. Should we keep... Le maybe Josh, okay? Yeah, let's... Less is cute though, but let's do this. Right. Okay. Yeah, and there's no character customization, so oh. Um. So fall third. That's. Wait, I just noticed that there's just six days per week in Rune Factory. 
I've never noticed that before. <laughs> this is just a holiday Monday today. Mm, that's interesting. So we're gonna pick autumn third. Is this correct? Yes. Josh, I think. I recently opened my world from Animal Crossing to uh, other games. That's good. You, just, you have a lot to discover for sure. You must not give me a vague non-committal answer. Say it clearly. Well, um, that's the best I can do, I'm afraid. I can't remember anything else besides my own name. Oh my, you speak the truth? Yes, ma'am. I see honesty in your eyes. But amnesia. I'm so sorry for your loss. Sorry for that. <laughs> Not, uh, you must be very confused losing your memory like this, but rest assured I'll always be on your side. I can breathe. Oh. Wait a minute. Perhaps you're the prince we've been waiting for. Perhaps I am. You do have an air of nobility about you. You must have lost your memory from the shock of the fall. Do you have any idea how or why you came to drop in from above? Well, you see... I'm so excited for the survey to my grade 5, the improved graphics with great, so excited to farm and tame monsters. Yeah, I'm so excited for Rune Factory 5. Less than a month left for the Japanese version, so it's coming soon. There must be villains chasing after the prince. You're right, this can't be a coincidence, Vulcanon. Yes, yes ma'am. Prepare room for the prince right away. Little room. Do you need a room for me? Of course, but I didn't fall down with the intent to stay here, no doubt. Who would intentionally fall from the sky into a castle? It seems the fates have decided your course. There's no need to worry, I assure you. You are here because you were meant to be here. You shall live in this town and perhaps in doing so you may find clues leading to your identity. It seems the most logical course of action, wouldn't you agree? I'm not sure how that's logical, but... Are you sure I can stay? Certainly, thank you very much. There's no need for that, however. The game is quite high, or should I? Change the volume. Is it better like this? Every game has a different like, audio level, so... I'm just lowering the game music a little bit, if that's better. This game has an amazing cast of characters. I like pretty much everyone. Too bad you can't date character of the same gender. Yeah... I think the game music is too loud. Yeah, sorry about that. So, is it better now? Thanks for letting me know, by the way. So, just lower, lower it a little bit more. I hope in addition to your own personal details, you've also forgotten the tone of voice I used earlier. What do you mean? My love speaking, you know only this, right? You've heard nothing else. Oh, you do sound a little different, come to think of it, a little more arrogant, I guess. Sorry, so you do remember, did you just click your tongue, irresistibly? If you've heard the other side of me, I suppose there's nothing you can do about it. Oh well, just call me Venti, Venti, sure, why not? At this point, I don't care if you address me with respect, that ship has sailed. Furthermore, stop speaking so politely, it makes me rather uncomfortable. Talk to me like we're old friends, alright? Yes, okay, good. <laughs> now listen, this is important. Do not let anyone else know about this, alright? Alright, about what? The fact that I'm actually kind of informal by nature. So, you're keeping that seat. You tell no one, understood? Yes, thank you. Alright, so we're gonna go check out our okay. room. This is such a great game, I need to finish it. Yeah. Hopefully I can manage to finish it as well. Well done, your body must ache. Rest early today, Prince. Let us go. Now, Lord Archer, allow me to show you to your room. Yes. I heard that the name of the prince is Archer, but if that's the case, why would you call yourself by another name? Am I really a prince? I see even the one thing you thought you remembered must be tough. Oh no, that's not what I'm saying. It's only natural that you'd be a bit bewildered. I think it's best that you turn in early today. If you're a member of the royal family, your identity shall soon be learned. In which case, you would have to admit that you've forgotten your you name. You can't! But I haven't forgotten. My name is Josh. Oh, my Josh. That's a unique name, and you may use that name for now if you wish. But I'm telling you, I'll leave the rest to you for canon, of course. Now, Prince, let us go. And we do not think I'm a prince. Alright. Josh. Yes, don't forget about promise we made earlier. 
I have to go to work, but I just subscribed. Have fun. I'll watch the recording later. All right, thank you so much, Dragon Puppy. What time is? Have you already forgotten you inconsiderate cure? Her? I don't know what that means. <laughs> About the way I talk, my secret has on this. Okay, remember now, honestly, how could I have slipped up so bad? Be sure you keep that promise or else I will. And I think, if I'm not wrong, I think Runes Factory 5 is gonna have like all the dialogues, at least in all the cutscenes, will be voiced, right? From, I think from what I've seen in the trailer. This is your room, your majesty. I'll need to explain your housing arrangements. Yeah, I remember that, so. And I think you can move the furniture, right? This is your diary. You may save here when pressing it. Da, 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 da. And so let's save. Yeah. Um. Alright, so. Yeah, I think he just wants me to sleep right away, right? Let me explain about your bed. Oh, there really isn't much. To explain, but see what has to say. To sleep you. in this bed, you're guaranteed good rest. Good rest, and will wake promptly at 6 a.m. You should try sleeping in your bed at night as much as possible. Sleep is good for you. If you don't sleep in the bed, you'll get tired and catch a cold. Sleeping will not only help you recover health, but also help your body grow and mature as well. Now you must be wary after such a day, since your HP is low. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, let's go to bed. Should we go to bed? I'm sure there's other things you can do in the first day, but. Actually, I'm trying to check the menu, check my bag, everything is blocked, but yeah, let's just do as he says and go to bed for now. Okay. Sleep. Alright. The game sounds a bit too loud. Is, is it too loud? Okay, I'm gonna lower it down. I keep, I keep lowering, lowering, lowering more, but maybe I'll... Is it better now? Maybe I'm gonna turn up my microphone a little bit more. I think I confused Rune Factory with something else. I had a totally wrong idea of the game in my head. Oh, really? <sighs> what What did you think? Uh, oh. So, yeah, feel free to let me know if the audio... I hope the audio is better now. Oh. It's loud, but I can hear you... Fine, oh, let me see if... I think there's something wrong. I don't know if my... Hmm. Okay, let me... Whenever we're done with this, I'm gonna check in the game options and try to lower it from the game. Because in Streamlabs, it's almost completely... Um, <laughs> lower to almost the minimum. Is she asleep? But I could have sworn she just looked at me. Sorry. Excuse me, are you awake? Good morning. Good morning. How can you sleep standing there? I don't really know myself. I think I came in here for something. What was it? So this is Chloric, I think. Is she a marriage candidate? I'm not sure. I don't remember much. Mr. Volcanon asked me to come wake you. Are you awake yet? Yes. Good morning. Then I'm pleased to meet you. My name is Clorica. And I'm training and I'm to be a servant at this castle. Yeah, I'm just gonna let her speak whenever she speaks. I'm Josh. How strange. Mr. Volcanon said your name was Archer. Uh, my name is definitely Josh. <laughs> I'd rather you call me that as you wish. What a sleepy sort of name. Anyway, I'm not terribly sure what is going on, but I'll do my best to serve you. Here, Thank you. I made breakfast. I made breakfast. So please eat it, if you'd like. So we got an apple pie. Apple pie looks really yummy. Thank you very You're much. You're welcome. Press B to eat. That was delicious. Yes. Eat one meal a day and you'll become stronger and stronger, so don't forget to eat every day. Alright, I'll be taking my leave now. I can't wait to <laughs> start go exploring and plant my little turnips. Uh, oh, but one last thing before I do. Once you're fully awake, go outside using that back door. Okay, yeah. Think we're gonna do some gardening. Oh, I stagger down. Thank you so much for the super sticker. There's a field out there, and you're going to learn how to till it. Yes. Till a field, that's right. Lady Ventus will left very specific instructions. She said those who do not work shall not eat. I'm supposedly a prince, right? Yes. 
That's right, so a prince is going to till the field. Of course, who else would? I thought a prince was supposed to have more of an elegant lifestyle. You can till elegantly. All right, according to Lady Ventus Will, you're perfectly suited to tilling soil. What does that even mean? I'm not sure. I guess I should go and find out. All right, so let's go till the soil. Hello, hi, Melanie. Hope you're doing good. I like these little introductions, cutscenes. Good morning, Prince. So this is Vishnal. You are the prince, right? I've been waiting, I've been for, waiting for you, Prince. Wow. Wait, I still may or may not be a prince. So will you just call me Josh? Huh? Please, yes. I see Josh. Amazing. I will be happy to serve you. Please allow me to formally introduce myself. Good morning. Good morning to you. My name is Vishnal. I'm training here to be, a, training full here to be a full fledged butler, although at times I may cause you trouble. <laughs> I am honored to serve you, Josh. Nice to meeting you. Why don't I start off by introducing the field? Are you ready? You can go and harvest crops in the field. Those harvested crops can then be shipped in exchange for money. Yay. Haven't seen these intros in so long. Yeah, me neither. It's been so long since I played Rune Factory 4. Ooh. Are given to neighbors as presents. By getting your neighbors things they enjoy, you can foster a more intimate relationship. You can do Moreover, it. after you build a monster barn, you can give presents to monsters and befriend them. As you can clearly see, harvested crops have great main uses, on. so it wouldn't hurt to grow an awful lot of them. This now sounds like a name for a Dark Souls boss. <laughs> I agree. I, I haven't played Dark Souls in such a long time. I hear that some crops can even be used as weapons. Or grow into dungeons. At times you'll find runes while harvesting crops. If you see one, don't forget to touch it as it will boost your skills. Alright. So we're gonna have to do some cleaning up runes. Oh right, I forgot that you've lost your memory. My apologies. Runes are the life, energy of anything and everything organic in this world. In this case, what you may see are crystallized forms of runes overflowing from the crops. So farm with love and your crops will undoubtedly be brimming with runes. Well, well. It seems to be uh, covered. Sorry, I, <laughs> I couldn't read. Uh, it's been this way since the last typhoon. Thank you. But I'm sure with a bit of elbow grease, you'll be able to fix her up in no time. I'll try my best. <laughs> I knew I could count on you. Lady Ventus Will had to have mentioned your farming talent for a reason. What did Venti say about me exactly? Now let me explain to you how the crops are actually grown. In order to grow crops, you must have soil. Take this. Yes. Yes. Right, well. We know how to do this. So I got all my tools. Yes. Yes. I've got it. I got it. All right, so how? Okay. I haven't played this in so long. Equip. Okay, I just need to get used to the controls again. Okay, so let's do this. Um. Okay, actually, let's do this. And then, how many seeds do I have? Oh, I just have one seed. So let's put one seed. And then, let's water it. Turns out he's the most gullible <laughs> character in this game. You must be Thank you very much. It was simply amazing to see you handle that hole. And lastly, it's time to name this farm. Oh my gosh, you guys, help me, please. <laughs> Does this really qualify as a farm? By building monster barns and befriending your livestock, you can collect their milk and share their wool. It will be a truly farmland, a true farmland in due time. You can also have the monsters help you with your farm work. Now, please think of a name. You guys, help me think of a name. This game hits my emotion hard at times. I remember that this game has three arcs in your previous playthrough. Were you able to finish the last one? I think I was... I think I started the second one. No, I think I started. I either finished the 
second one or start at the third the third one. So yeah. I was like at two thirds there, so yeah, but I didn't finish everything. Hi Josh, listening while I play Breath of the Wild. Rune Factor 4 is a game I struggle with. Maybe you can help me now by watching. Yeah, well I haven't played this game uh since 2013, so <laughs> maybe I'm gonna be struggling as well, but if it helps, that's good. Also, I have to say, I never played Breath of the Wild. That's something I really have to catch up with. Um. So, okay, uh, we're, we're just let's go with just self yeah farm. I think that's good enough. Let's go with that. Wonderful. What a tasteful name. Although you might not have noticed yet, when you do productive work such as farming, your RP begins to decrease. When you use up all your RP, your HP will start being consumed instead. Making you faint from exhaustion if they fall too low, so please be careful. RP can be recovered by eating, bathing, or bathing or sleeping. At first, you'll find yourself getting tired quite easily. However, as you get used to it, it'll be much easier to work. Before you go, I have a present for you. Ooh! Receive turnip seeds. Thank you very much. You can buy seeds at the general store, so if you'd like to grow more crops, that's a place to visit. And by the way, Lady Ventus Will was calling you. The center path leads to Ventus Will's room. Alright, so let's just plant all of our turnips first. So, let's keep... Let's just clean up, just clean up everything. As much as I can, because I don't have any axe or anything yet, right? So, just do this. Ooh, skill up. Yeah, and there are so many different skills to level up, right? In, in wow, it's <laughs> leveling up quite fast. So, alright, so we've got nine seeds. And one thing I liked so much... Oh, one thing I liked so much is the... I don't know why it's not doing it right now, but you know, like, when you hold items, they just, like, stack up on top of each other. And, I don't know, it's just... <laughs> I think it just looks so cute. Alright, so now let's water this. Also, I love how the farming is just like so quick, right? Like, this is just so quick. Alright, so let's talk to Ventus Will. Good morning. Good morning to you. How goes the farm work? Why is the prince farming? <laughs> because you have the talent of an earth mate. What? Earth mate? Earth mates are those who can communicate with the earth and monsters. They have long been enriching the earth through farming. <laughs> that bump on the head must have messed up with you far more than expected if you've forgotten that. Well, let's do an experiment. Come closer. Okay. What's she gonna do? What are we doing? Perhaps I can bring back your memory with my power. No way! Yes. Really? Really? Well, really-ish, anyway, I can't yeah. guarantee anything. Let's try it. Please, let me try, please. All right, all right. Come on, then. Let's go. Well, mm, it's not working. So it doesn't work, then, after all. I can't bring back memory unless I'm involved in it. Why don't you hey. just give up? How could I possibly do that? We at least know you're a prince. We don't know yeah, that yet at all. We do so. You're just being stubborn. How about you go out and do some meet and greet with the locals? Someone might recognize your face. That's true. I'll do that right away. Wait, Josh. What? What? When you're done asking around, will you come back yes. here? Sure. You may go now. All right. So let's go talk with the townspeople. I wish I lived down has some of the farming features here where you have to think of soil quality and using fertilizer. Yeah, I wish the farming in Olive Town was a tiny bit more involved. That would be that would be nice if there was like fertilizers and things. Ah, so, yeah, we're meeting all the nice townspeople which I don't remember anybody's name. I don't remember. <laughs> I really don't remember too much. That was really quick. I thought they were gonna introduce themselves. Uh, it didn't work. I see I'm very sorry. But don't be disappointed. There's still a chance that you're the prince. You can write a letter to the royal capital to confirm. And if all else fails, you can always start a new life here. It's not that easy. I know, but I'm very serious. And I think in time, you two may find it the best course of action. This town is filled with warm-hearted people. They'll all welcome you with open arms. 
so there's no need to worry. Cheer up, Venti. More than that, excuse me. Who's that? Who is that guy? And who, pray tell, is addressing me? Yes. Arthur, Arthur D. Lawrence, the 13th Prince of Norad Kingdom. I will be staying here in Selfia starting, starting today. Oh. Lady Ventus will, I kindly ask for your guidance. Um. Is something wrong? Are you the prince? Yes. That's right. I thought I sent a letter stating that I would be arriving today. Hey! Oh. <laughs> I told you it wasn't me. There's no way I could be the prince. Be quiet. Even a perfect being can make a mistake or two. So, you are the true prince then. Well, how do I explain? I am a bit at a loss here. Ah, that's it. This person here claimed to be the prince despite having no corroborating evidence. We had never seen your face, so we had no choice but to believe the old troublemaker. What? You're the one who kept insisting I was royalty. Shut up, he'll hear us. That's why we've given away the room which was prepared for you, I'm afraid. We beg your forgiveness. Oh my. We take full responsibility for this grievous error and we'll do what we can to make it right. Josh, I'm sorry. sorry. I really am sorry. Will you stay at the inn for a while and let them know? Ah, <laughs> okay. It's alright, I wasn't supposed to be here in the first place. Excuse me. Please wait. What will you do? Where will you go? Well, I'll stay at the inn until everything's settled. I'm sorry, Josh. Please don't be... There's no need for that. <laughs> this must have happened for a reason, Josh, was it? Will you trade places with me and serve as representative to this kingdom? Do you realize what you're saying? I'm well aware it's not a title you can just hand over to a stranger, you know? Can't I? I honestly don't think it's that important of a title. Of course, I'm not suggesting that we trade our actual names of positions. Our positions, just, just what, what is it you're planning? There's something that I wish to do, but I can't do it if I'm busy running the town, so will you take my responsibilities? Wouldn't this mean betraying That's your father? I'm prepared for that. I won't press that. What <laughs> What happened if you, if you say what? I can tell that you have true passion within your heart. You have my permission. All powers and responsibilities of the prince will be given to Josh. What? Me? Well, they were your responsibilities. Anyway, until Prince Arthur appeared before us, we'll just say nothing's changed and leave it at that. Shouldn't be a problem. We'll please, Josh. <laughs> Bow before me, peasants. You'll do it. Yes, I'm ready. Excellent. I knew we could count on you. Thank you, Thank you so much. I will explain the duties of a prince to you in the coming days. For now, however, I must look for a place to stay. That's true. You should continue to use the room in the castle since you are the acting prince. Don't worry. Don't worry. I have a, I have a talent, talent for negotiating. negotiating. I don't anticipate any problems. No. Alright. <laughs> what a dutiful young man. Why are you sighing? Playing the part of royalty is a once in a lifetime opportunity. Life is short. If you pass up opportunities simply because of a memory loss, it will be gone forever. I will tell Volcanon and everyone else to support you. I can help too if you need it. Okay, I guess it could be a good experience for me. Positive thinking is always good. I knew it could I knew I could trust you, Josh. Of course you'd say that now. I think she just says the same dialogue and asks you again. Yeah, most of the most of the time that's what happens with dialogue options, right? It doesn't have much of a difference. So what were you going to say earlier? It was about the duties of a prince, even though I'm not one and never said I was. Hi, you are a stubborn one. <laughs> anyway, let's discuss the matter now, shall we? In order to complete your duties as a prince, you must form connections with other residents. Trust is the most important aspect in your role as prince. So does that mean I should make friends with the townsfolk? Friendship doesn't necessarily lead to trust as a prince. You don't ask all your friends to help you work after all, do you? So that's why you must first be trusted as a prince, and that's done by completing duties as a prince? Yes. Exactly. But how? There's a red box in the square outside of that door. Oh yeah, I remember that box. <laughs> That's a request box containing the collective requests of everyone in town. By answering these requests, your work will be recognized. So should I just keep completing the request in the box yes. then? Yes, I will help you quickly build a good reputation among your loyal subjects. And the better your reputation, the faster your farm work will progress. With others at work, you'll see. 
All right, so anyway, that's all I wanted to say. Why don't you go check? All right, let's see. Let's do our first request. Good morning. Is this a request box? It doesn't look like a box. <laughs> nice to meet you. My name is Elisa. Huh? Who was that and where are you? What? You can hear me? I can't, but I can't see you. I'm right in front of your face. Wow, the request box is talking to me. Maybe I should go to the clinic. No, that won't be necessary. I'm Elisa, the request box. And I'm ever so glad you can hear me. Now, listen up. Inside me is a list of all the important requests everyone has made. Because let's face it, everyone needs help sometimes. But you can't solve all of them at once. No, no. So I'll help you solve them one by one. You got that? Okay. You're quite smart. Let's start by trying it out. Try taking a, a request first task. So come to the order symbol in Castle Dragon Room. Reward turnip seed. Okay, well that's gonna be quite simple. Good, good, well done. By the way, you can check your current request by accessing the notebook. Blah 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 blah. So if you press minus, you can see your request here. So Check the order symbol in the dragon room. So we're just gonna go to the dragon room and I think that's this one right here. So this is the order symbol, right? But what am I supposed to be looking at exactly? Josh. You checked for a request at the request box, I assume. Yes, thank yes. You thank you very much. much for coming here. I've been trying to find you. I would like us to discuss your duties as a prince. What do you mean? The main role of a prince is to give directives to help shape the future of the nation. These directives are regarded as orders. And this is the place where you can make your orders. Orders? I think it would be easier to understand if you simply try it. Please make an order with these. 50 prince points. These are the points you're gonna need. Uh, the representative of your skill and reputation as a bona fide prince. You can make any different kind of orders by using these prince points. Prince points. Choose any order you'd like. You got it. Alright. Let's begin my prince duties. So development. Let's see if there's anything we can do. Oh, new backpack. So let's do that. Palma, Paima, Paimon. Sorry. Hi, Paimon. Hope you're doing good. All right. So we just made our first order. We upgraded our backpack. Good afternoon. This is good. You finally made an order. I did. Easy, wasn't it? Just use your prince points to make an order and whatever. You ask of your lo loyal subjects, it will come to pass without fail. It's a little oppressive for my will to be done without any questions, but you are a prince. A prince, huh? What's wrong? I just don't want to make people mad by being too demanding, you know? This whole thing feels really selfish, I guess. No need to worry. It's not as if you can do absolutely anything you want after all. Why? Not as long as there are prince points, you can't. Put simply, Prince Points show how much people trust you as a prince. <laughs> as you complete requests from the request box, you'll earn more price points. Uh, prince Points! In short, it's only when people trust you that you can save enough Prince Points to matter. It takes a lot of points to affect any sort of major change. So if you're not trusted or well-liked, your powers are very limited. I see, just think of it this way. If you have enough points to give an order, then you've earned the right to give that order. And since you've now completed my request, allow me to give you these as a token of my gratitude. You should have noticed that your points points just went up. You're right. Actually. Note that you don't usually earn this much from one request. There's just one more thing I want you to do and it will require a large number of points. So I added a bit of a bonus. A show of confidence in you as it were. Huh? Well, let's go on to the next request, shall we? The next request is to increase the number of tourists in this town by making an order. Money goes where the people go after all, and the more money you make, the more you can develop the country. The role of a prince is to make this country a better place to be. And simply put, to accomplish that, tourists are absolutely essential. Alright, that makes sense. So let's hold a festival to attract tourists, shall we? A festival? This is another one of those things you'll likely learn a bit easier by simply doing it. Try to order a festival, I think it would be better to choose a festival you can hold as soon as possible. That way, you'll get a feel for the whole process much more quickly. Alright, so let's order a festival. There's just so much things you can do <laughs> in this game, I didn't remember. But... Look at all, look at all of these different festivals already. So, what should we get? So we have 1000 points. I don't know if there's one that's better... For... Let's 
I feel like cooking... I feel like that's really early, but... Yeah, let's go with that. Let's go with the cooking contest. Let's do it. Yes. Other place for cooking contest. The event will occur in Spring 6. Uh, spring 6. Go for the bean toss. Oh, well. Yeah, too, too late. I, d I don't even know if I'm going to be able to cook on Spring. <laughs> on the 6th of Spring, actually. It, it, it's fine. Yeah, I should have went for something else. You attracted more tourists by getting the town's name out there. And if the festival is a rousing success, like if you participate in it personally and really boost spirits, then you'll attract even more tourists in this town. It will be a booming metropolis in no time. I see. So what is a prince? Actually. Prince exactly does your title. Your present prince title is determined by the number of tourists. As you advance in rank, you'll be able to issue more and more complex orders. The more tourists bring it, the more the town will develop and the more new items you'll be able to purchase. For example, new vegetable and flower seeds, stronger weapons, more reliable armor, all of which will also help you complete more complex, more complex requests. Best of luck to you, yes. your majesty. Well, that does it for my explanation of Prince Works. So I guess my job here is done. You should check the request box every day though. It's very, very Good important. Afternoon. Now, if you'll excuse me. I didn't remember <laughs> there was that much reading <laughs> in this game. So much dialogue at the beginning. So request completed. Ooh. So we got, yeah, that's what I was saying earlier. I like how the <laughs> they stack up and like they just move. Around. I think that's just super cute. But alright, so we're gonna go plant these turnip. I'm sure she has something to say. Okay, I, okay. I, we're just gonna plant the turnips and then we're gonna check the request. Yes. I, I don't remember when I'm gonna get like an axe and all of the other tools. <laughs> Everything just keeps leveling up. Alright, so let's check the request box. Anyway, that's all for now. Well done. I'll give you a new request next time. By the way, may I check the request? How to place furniture. Right, so it's gonna be quite easy. The request will wait till morning, I assure you. Okay. okay, so. Okay, so I have to wait tomorrow, right? Okay, yeah, so okay, so I have to wait until tomorrow. So what should I do now? Let's just maybe talk to everybody. Well. I'm just nice. To here this looks so different like <laughs> i feel like when i played this game on my 3ds everything oh there's alcohol here did you say it was his best friend oh yeah that's my best oh no that's my best friend's favorite i thought he was saying alcohol was his best friend okay yeah all right let's check out the other houses don't buy from battle okay all right, i'm not going to okay, let's see what's here yeah, what I was saying is that the 
graphics. It looks very different from playing like on a tiny 3DS screen. Are you still it's sleeping? not too bad from what I remember because of the room expansions. Yeah. Look at the like, uh, yeah, like the cherry blossoms and everything. So like, ooh. Yeah, the cherry blossoms and the little river and everything is just so pretty. You can't rotate furniture. <laughs> it's not too bad. Um, the whole town is talking about you already. They say you're the person who just moved here from up the sky. So why did you decide to move down here if you were living up high or too thin? Oh yeah, that's right. They also said you lost all your so memories. Sorry. sorry, it wasn't very nice of me to bring that up, was it? If there's ever anything you want to know more about, come ask me. I've the character portraits are so good. I've been studying now. this whole area for a long time I now. I know more about it than here. anyone else who lives here. Oh, and I like hearing about things from other people yep. too. So if you're curious about any rumors, I can probably fill you in on those too. Do you have any questions you'd like to ask? Well, yeah, what should I call you? Ah, oops, oops. I forgot to introduce myself. I'm Kiel. Or Kiel, Kiel, Kiel. And nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. All right. Good morning. Oh, that's Forte, right? Oh, I remember her. I feel an unfamiliar presence. What? Huh? Whoa. God. Oh. oh, it was you, Josh. My apologies. I'm glad I didn't cut you down. I like how the text bubble changed depending on the mood of the dialogue. I didn't notice that before. Oh, really? I, let, me, let me take a look. <laughs> I'm glad I did not cut you down. Where are my manners? My name is Forte. I serve the holy lord. Her faithful dragon knight. Dragon knight? Ah, that's right. You're missing all your memories. Yeah. Oh, goodness. My apologies. I hope I've not spoken too indelicately. Oh, no. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Still, it was an inappropriate topic to bring up. I'm sorry. Anyway, dragon knights, as the name suggests, it is my duty to protect Lady Ventuswill. On paper, at least. The power of a mere human is nothing compared to hers. She hardly requires the help of one. Oh, that makes sense, I guess. Yes, I know Venti was that powerful. So, though I hold the title of Dragon Knight, in truth, my duty is to guard According this town. Accordingly, if you, if you should have any problems, please, please feel free, free to, to come speak with me. So Alright, thank you so much. I like how everything's so quick, like there's no loading times or anything. Like, you can just come in and out and super quick. Oh, I remember this place. Josh. Hello there, my name is Linfa. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, wow. No, now that I think about it, this isn't the first time we've met, is it? No, but I was kind of in a rush before. Oh my, so we haven't had a chance to introduce ourselves then. Well then, how about we do that now? I'm very pleased to meet you. Me too. Wow, that was a, a very short introduction. Our bats are very relaxing. You see, they will restore your HP and RP. Please stop by whenever you feel the need. Uh, since you are still getting used to life in town, let me give you a special deal. You can use the bath for free on your first five visits. A nice relaxing bath is a lovely way to wash off sweat after a long day farming or adventuring. Let's use the bath. Even though <laughs> I feel like we don't really use it, but let's just check it out. Our body just completely disappears <laughs> under the water. Okay, so... Okay, is there anything here? Men. Oh, I remember something happened. I think you lose. I think there's some negative effect, right? If you go in the wrong room. I, I don't remember quite well. I know there's something with that. It looks like a wing and somebody's shirt sure keeps it polished. Hey, Leptail. Hope you're doing good. Thanks for joining. Let's see what's in here. Imagine a story of seasons game that has 20 second loading scram. Story of Seasons game that has 20 second loading time, that would be absurd. Hello. Well... <laughs> so, this is Archer. I don't know why we didn't get that little introduction earlier. Oh, if you go to the opposite gender, bats too often. Oh, really? Oh, okay. I knew there was something. Like Hello, Josh. How you? goes your royal work? It's going fine. Ah, yes. I see. I knew I was right in leaving those chores to you. Ah. It's not much. Of course, I shall assist you as much as I possibly can. So do not worry so much, alright? <laughs> I look forward to good things from you yes. in the future. Thank you. Yeah, it's so round. I hear it represents the world. It's a perfect replica. Alright, let's see if there's anything else on the other side. Ooh, that's... Welcome! Welcome. I am 
Porkly in the Saint Cookie. I am Porkly in the Saint Cookie. Uh, hi, I'm Josh. A pleasure to meet you, Josh. Now then, allow me to introduce myself again in a sexier voice. Ooh. I am Porkly the Saint Cookie. Wow, beautiful. <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> wow, he's kind of weird. Let's see if there's anything upstairs. Go back down here and let's check out the rest of the town. I like how Hello. I feel like time is not too fast, right? Oh. Hi, hey Miss Bubbles, how are you doing? Huh? Welcome to the stream. Haha, <laughs> Josh. Huh? Well, you are used to town now, yes? No, this would be too soon, I think, but there's no hurry. Take your time and you will find your place. Thank you. Oh, um, by the way, yes. Mm, yeah, how do you know my name? No. Huh? This isn't the first time we've met, yes? Can't you remember? Um, it's hard to remember a name I haven't been told yet. Oh! Don't worry about it. Well, this don't happens worry about it. This time. happens all the time. After all, I don't even get my name added to gift exchange drawings. Oh my, that's so sad. No, I told you it's not that I forgot. Mm. <laughs> I was just so busy thinking about my own problems that I forgot to ask for a proper introduction. Oh! So I don't think we've properly introduced ourselves. Not that you mention it, I do seem to remember it being Clorica who told me your name. <laughs> Oops, aha, uh -huh. it seems I was a little clumsy, much like Mama, sorry. Well, this happens all the time too, don't worry about it. But anyway, I'm pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Thank you. So, um, your name? Oops. She never told me her name. <laughs> she never told me. This is so beautiful. Alright, so let's go down. Hey Josh, I don't know anything about this game, but it looks cute. It is. <laughs> this is a very cute game. Just keep in mind, it's a 3DS port, so... Uh, like, <laughs> it is a little bit old, but just the art style is so beautiful. But yeah, if you like Story of Seasons, uh, if anybody's watching and doesn't really know what Rune Factory is, it's from the same developers as Story of Seasons. And it's a farming sim, but there's a lot more RPG elements and fighting and... Yeah, so, and uh, it's a lot more story focused, so we've been, we started 15 minutes ago and we're just like <laughs> going through dialogues and dialogues, but it's a lot of fun. It sucked when I switched between this game and Animal Crossing because of controls. Yeah, it's always hard when you're <laughs> playing like multiple games at once and you have to get used to. Um, I'm the amazing Mister. <laughs> ah, that's a fly flimsy There's lie. You can't fool Illuminata, the grand de de detective. Is that true? You're a detective? Of course. That I am. Wait, didn't I tell you all this before? <laughs> you're right, you did, sorry. Yeah. It's okay, well then, since you're the town newcomer, let me give you a word of advice. If you want flower seeds, you come to my shop, yes. got it? Right, I run a flower shop here, feel free to stop by. So, let's see, if we can, let's see what we can buy. Seeds and nutrients. Welcome. So, for now, there's toy herb seed. And nutrients. Ooh, see, that's the things that I want. That's the things I want to see in Olive Town. Formula one: sprinkle on salt to grow crops faster. Nice. An item used to raise soil quality. No rot. Sprinkle on salt to prevent move. plants from wilting. Ooh. Sprinkle on salt to grow gargantuan product produce. produce. There's a lot of different things. I'm not sure which one is, well. but anyway. Uh, not for now, but yeah. So, alright, so yeah, let's just continue talking to everybody. Let's go out, let's see. Oh, May yeah. I? Ah, Josh. So, that's the forte. Are you going somewhere? There are monsters outside town, so it's dangerous to be wandering around. Monsters? Yes. Yes. You can avoid them mostly, but sooner or later you may have to fight, meaning I have to cut them down. That's right. Can't we all just get along? <laughs> you're sweet, Josh. <laughs> no, I just mean, don't worry. Defeating monsters doesn't mean you're killing them. Huh? Exactly. The weapons and farm tools we use have a magic spell called Temitaya cast upon them. This Tentaya prevents our attacks from actually harming the monsters. Instead, sending them to the Forest of Beginnings. The Forest of Beginnings? 
That's the whole. That's the world in which the monsters live. They enter our world through roads called gates. I see. We send them back to the forest of beginnings. We need a weapon with a Tamikaya spell cast upon it. Do you have such a weapon? I don't. In that case, in that case why not use this one? Thank you. Receive Claymore. Long swords are highly effective and cover large areas. You can attack multiple monsters at once too. Its downside is a slow swing which leaves you vulnerable. So try to anticipate your enemy's move and use it accordingly. Thank you very much. Weapons are important partners that you entrust with your life. You should find out for yourself which weapons suit you best I will. I think that does it for your explanation. However, I must ask you one more thing before you leave. How confident are you in your own skill? I live to fight enemies. You have said that if oh that's oh that's a difficulty level maybe mm, I see it seems you're quite confident in your skill and I have no reason to doubt that confidence. Actually maybe normal I am <laughs> I don't know if I can change it. But should you require my help, please let me know and do take it easy. Don't become overconfident and lower your guard. Oh and one more thing, when the enemy's strength overwhelms you, gaze upon the trophy in the castle basement. Oh yeah, so you can change the difficulty uh, from your house for well from the castle. I'm not sure what it means, but it's a charm we knights have passed down for quite some time. So should you become overwhelmed, um, it might be worth trying. Okay, thanks. When the enemy's strength overwhelms you, gaze upon the... Okay. Yeah, so, yeah, I'm gonna be able to change the difficulty. Because I know this game is quite hard by default, like, even the, on the normal difficulty, it's quite hard. So, yeah, <laughs> you must always strive to carry food with you when you're leaving the town. By eating food, you'll gain benefits such as health, restoration, and timed skill boost. These benefits change depending on the type of food you eat. Don't underestimate the power of a good meal. Unless you're fully prepared, it's really quite dangerous out here. My apologies. Please be careful. Alright, let's go try to... Fight. Oh, actually, I didn't have a sword already. So, attack 12. Okay, let's, let's do this. Ah, no! Ah! I wanted to use... I just wanted to try my sword. I didn't mean to eat. But it's okay. So, I don't know. It seems like there is not much. Uh, not to, oh, yeah. So, I don't have the barn yet, right? So, I'm not going to be able to... Uh, to tame them. That was quite easy. Oh yeah, and that's gonna be the first dungeon. I remember there's like a butterfly or some kind of thing. Let's save just in case. I'm not gonna go in there right now because I'm guessing. Can I can I go in now? Recommended level. That's a confirmed monsters. Oh. Should I go there now or should I wait a little bit? <laughs> yeah, we're gonna be able to tame them a little bit later, but I need the monster barn. Also, the battle looks so fun in Rune, oops, <laughs> in Rune Factory 5. But even in this one, it's quite fun actually. Let's just go in. This forest has a strange atmosphere to it. The game volume is quite loud, can't hear you talk. Oh no! We've <laughs> we've been having this issue since the beginning and we keep I keep lowering it. Okay, let me Okay, after this cutscene I'm gonna lower it directly from the game volume. Because in Streamlabs it's already uh, it's already like it almost Oh actually Is it better now? I think my settings were a little bit different than usual. Mm. Yeah, I think it's gonna be better now, right? Oh my gosh, it's been one hour and yeah. Let me let me know if it's better. Oh, ooh, this strong guy. So many sensitive ears. <laughs> I really wanna make sure it sounds good. But yeah, every game, with every game I have to kind of set it up differently. Yeah, I think it's better now, right? I think, yeah. 
Sorry about that. I'm so sorry. I feel bad. It's been like one hour. Oh my gosh. Attack while dashing to bring a big overhead swing down on an enemy. Kill up. Oh, and we got our shield. So, how do I... Oh, no. <laughs> um, how do I use the shield? I don't remember. Better, yeah. Well, I'm glad to hear it's better. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys, for letting me know. Ah, I'm gonna die. There, there's a nice recovery potion inside. Lots of them. It's easier to take them all as a stack than to pick and choose, but I can... Can I carry them? Maybe if I pick them apart one by one and reassemble the stack in my bag. Okay. Ah. Okay, let's... Hey. Alright, we're doing it. We're doing it. Not too bad. This guy's really strong. Okay, alright. Got it. Let's keep these potions. I'm gonna try to keep my potions as much as I can for the boss. So I don't struggle too much. It's not like you hear what we all hear on this end. It's okay if you need to adjust a few times. I know, yeah. You can't block. It just automatically increases your defense. Okay, alright. That's good. Some things preventing me from going forward. I guess I should try again after I get rid of the monster. Oh yeah, you have to um, destroy the little portals, right? Oops. Alright, we're doing good. Now that I've defeated the monsters, I can continue onward. Maybe I should try getting rid of the monsters when I hit a roadblock like this. Definitely. And can I... Yeah, I can't. I don't have any hammer. Can I do this with the sword? No. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna have to buy a hammer. I think it's like 1,500. So that's gonna... Not gonna be for now, but um, yeah. <laughs> so many skills. Skill up butterflies again. Yeah, it's gonna be a big butterfly. I wonder what's out there. That's the only bus I can remember actually. <laughs> oh, so many little ants. Oh my gosh, they're strong. Yeah, what's that? insect carapace? Carapace. Oh, and there's two ways. So let's go here. It's great to watch one of my favorite streamers playing my favorite game. Oh, Sophia, glad to hear that Run Factor 4 is one of your favorite games. Your favorite game. <laughs> yeah, it's been. I played this game once. I played on the 3DS originally, like in 2013. So, yeah, <laughs> it feels good to go back to that game. One thing that's interesting with the game is that you can hit arrows when the archers try to attack you. Yeah, I've noticed that a little bit earlier that I actually deflected an arrow with... Um, I deflected an arrow with my sword. So yeah, that's nice. Is there a short... Is there a way to put things like in shortcut? Because I feel like... Anyway, let's... Oops. I feel like I'm doing something... I feel like there should be a shortcut or something, right? Oops. Oh, gosh. Okay, <laughs> let me... I keep pressing the wrong thing. Okay, let me go back over there and try to finish that quest. Yeah, but there's no kind of... Oh, here, right? Oh, no. Okay, no. Yeah, I just have to do it every time. Okay, all right, so... Let's just go back over there. I still don't get how insects are carrying around things like huge lugs. Yeah, these are very... Well, ants are very strong. They can carry like 30 times their weight, so... Yeah. 
And we're already... That's really quick, actually. This is more focused on story and combat as compared to other HMSOS game. Yeah, I never played Tale of Two Towns, but yeah, if anybody doesn't know Rune Factory, it's the same developers as Story of Seasons, but it's a lot more focused on like story and combat. Looks like I can update my diary here. Yeah, let's do that. And if we fail, we're just gonna retry, reload. So, all right, let's save. Ooh, that looks beautiful. Okay, write the diary entry. Already at level four. All right, so let's see if we can beat this first boss on hard mode. Would you recommend this game? Yeah, I mean, I've just started playing now. Um, it's a 3DS port. And I don't know when they released it on the Switch. Sometime last year? or m Was it last year? But yeah, it's a really good game and there's lots of hours. Like you could play this game for like a hundred hours if you like. So yeah, if you like Story of Seasons and if you like RPGs in general, I would definitely recommend it. It's moving. All right, so let's fight this. Oh, ah, 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 ah. that's quite strong, and I'm sleeping. Okay, all right, so let's do this. I might have to. Oh, 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 wow, okay, <laughs> she kills you pretty much in one hit. Ah, you're awake, you push yourself a bit too hard, I think. You don't have to pay this time, but do be careful. So, should I try... There's so many things... Oh, yeah, so these are all the skills, so... <laughs> There's just so many skills to level up in this game. All the different elements, all the different um, things, and I think there's gonna be more like when I start cooking and stuff. Yeah, uh, I don't remember how to... maybe I have to... wait. How do I just load my diary? Maybe I have to go to my diary? I think you can reload at the diary. Yeah, let me try that. Okay, thank you guys. So let's check that out. Hmm? No. You can sort your inventory by pressing X when you access your backpack. Oh, I see. Mm. Don't forget to take a bath every day if you can. Yeah. But I'm just trying to... <laughs> mm. I'm just trying to load my diary. Do I have to go back? Do I have to go... Mm? Do I have to reset the game every time I want to reload? I feel like I feel like there's probably a better way to do this. Rune Factory Four. But let's do it this way. Let's start the I think you have to exit the game. Yeah. Okay, let's see. So I'm gonna try one more time. If I fail, I'm just gonna like I'm just gonna try again tomorrow. So now I know the technique for this one. This one is quite simple. Just hit two or three times and then you move back a little bit. And then two or three hits and then you move back a little bit. And then that butterfly girl, she's a little bit more tricky. So I'm just gonna wait until she does her thing. Oh my gosh, that's really... Oh my gosh, she's really strong. Okay, now let's... Drink a little potion. Um, okay, so actually you have to... Like this, hold. 
Okay, let's try one more time. Oop. She's really strong. Okay, so <laughs> um, I think, yes, you seem to be out of danger. You should be good to go home this time. I'm asking 147 gold. Oh my gosh, that's like more than half my money. My name is Jones. I'm in the town doctor. Nice to meet you, Dr. Jones. I'm Josh. Yes, I know. It's a pleasure to meet you. It's nice to meet you too. If you take Forte with you, it's easier because she can take hits for you and heal. Yeah, I think um, <laughs> you're playing on hard mode, fighting a boss on your second day. Yeah, I think I might just switch it to normal mode. And yeah, I can bring Forte with me, so she's gonna help me with the boss. By the way, have you managed to remember anything? No, memories are strange thing. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, alright, so... Yeah, I think... <laughs> that was maybe trying a little bit too much for my first day, but... Yeah, I can bring Forte with me maybe tomorrow. And maybe we're just gonna put the difficulty to normal. At least for the beginning, I can always change it back later, but for now... There's a lot of... Wait, I don't remember... There's something in the basement, right? Oh, difficulty setting. Standard difficulty mode, yeah. So, let's switch to normal. Love Rune Factory 4, but I'm terrible at the fighting part. <laughs> yeah, that's why I'm putting it to normal. So, yeah, it's the second day, and... Yeah, what else can I do now? Don't you have to be good friends first if you want to invite her? I think so. I'm not sure. Can you get along with everyone? Of course. Good, good. How beautiful friendships can be. It's always better to have close friends. Okay, so you know what, for the rest of the day, I feel like we've spoken with mostly everybody, so I'm just gonna walk around, just beat up some little monsters, and then I'm gonna go to bed. She'll go with you, she'll just go home when it gets late, I see. So, yeah, maybe tomorrow morning I'm gonna water my turnips and then try to find Forte. Oh, there's some chest here. Also, maybe I should buy an extra... Well, I don't... <laughs> the doctor it took all my money. Um, but, uh, yeah, maybe I should get some extra potions or something. Okay, so let's go to bed. I think... Yeah. <sighs> Time to wake up. I was sure I had something to do today. Do you remember what it was, Josh? No idea. You don't know either. What should I do? I have no clue. So let's water. Can you cut the turnips with a sword? I'm, I, I want to try because I'm curious, but also don't want to. Oh, yeah, okay. I just wanted to know. But yes, you can cut your crops with the sword. So, yeah, we just learned something. Oops. Did it. All right, so that's pretty much it for our crops. Now we should have a request today. So here are today's request: how to place furniture. Write it down. I wrote down the details of the request in my notebook. The request is from Clorica. All right. 
So I just need to place the storage box somewhere in my room, right? So let's pick this up. It's my storage trunk. Pick it up. And I'm gonna place this maybe here. Look inside. Maybe there's some stuff. I feel like my bag is getting full. Well, actually, there's still... Uh, there's still some space, but I feel like I could probably put a few things in there. Okay, let's do like this. This was a lot faster <laughs> with the touch screen. Um, all right, so. Now let's try to find Forte. Oh, you can actually see on the little mini map where everybody is. So she's right here. So let's ask, have you had a chance to meet Kiel? He's my younger brother. Yep. Oh, I forgot to actually complete my request. Uh, if you have any questions about Lady Ventus Will, I suggest you ask him. I suggest you not trust every last thing he says. He's prone to spreading rumors. He doesn't mean to. He just doesn't know how to doubt. So he trusts everything he hears. That I uh, like girly sweets. Oh, that I, um, I'm scared of silly things like ghosts. <laughs> Those are just rumors, you know, baseless, untrue rumors. <laughs> Please don't fall for them, understand? Oh, uh, sure. By the way, let's go on an adventure. Would you like to go somewhere with me? I would not mind. I would be glad to accompany you. Thank you so much. So, let's just go back to the request box. Press Y to quickly move them. Oh, <laughs> thank you so much. Uh, so what do you think? Did you get the hang of it? Absolutely. All right, you've completed this request. It seems like Clark has given you something useful as a reward. Oh, calendar. So, all right. So let's place down our calendar. Pick up. Can you place it? Oh. Yeah, so you don't even have to place it in your room, right? Actually, I think you can place it anywhere you'd like. But I'm going to place it here. It's my calendar. Let's check the calendar. Let's see what's happening. So on the 15th, so no, on the 6th, we're gonna have the cooking contest. On the 15th, there's a fishing frenzy contest. On the 28th, there's a spring harvest festival. On the 1st, is New Year's Day. There's so much going on. So much going on. But, yep. Yeah. Alright, so let's try to kill that butterfly. I'm just gonna save. But I'm gonna save one more time when I'm in front of the forest, but... So now we're in normal mode, and I'm gonna get some help from Forte, so we should be... Good, right? Uh, I think... I think we should be pretty good. So let's go here. Let me just get my... Sword, my broadsword. Wait. No, my claymore. This looks nice. Hi, Mystery Cookie. Welcome to the stream. It is a very nice game indeed. Hopefully you guys, if you've never played Rune Factory before, you're gonna discover a nice, nice little gem. Alright. So let's just save here and hopefully this time is gonna be successful. <laughs> messed up already. Um, let me just wait until it attacks. Oh, okay. Alright, that was really quick. Actually, Forte, I feel like she did everything for me. Now, let me just back up before she does her thing. Yeah, I feel like it really helps to have Forte. She's kind of attracting the boss for me. She's kind of distracting. Oh my gosh, it's really like almost one hit. Oops. I keep just putting back in my bag. Okay. So I don't have any more potions, so let's try. Oh, it's almost. Almost there. She's blinking, she's flashing. Oh, 
Yay, we made it guys, yay. So yeah, it was a lot easier in normal and also with some help. The graphics from SOS look so much better every time I try to get into this game. I just feel like I'm playing a mobile game. Yeah, well, it's a 3DS game, right? So, but I think with the art style, with the beautiful art style, it kind of aged not too bad, I think. And like the portraits look beautiful too. Did that monster just turn into a girl? Oh yeah, this is Ember, right? You okay? Are you okay? Are you hurt? Uh, what's wrong? You have a funny face, huh? What? Hello, can you hear me? She's asleep. What do I do? But why did the butterfly suddenly turn into a girl? What's wrong? Oh, who's that? Dog. Doug. Dog? Dog? Why are you here? <laughs> I was just walking by, but forget about me for a sec. You alright? Press R to dash forward, it helps with dodging. Oh, I didn't know that. Who is this? I have no idea. A monster I was fighting suddenly turned into a girl, assuming I didn't just dream the whole thing. Hey, uh, Monsters turning into humans? I've never heard of such a thing. I don't get it either. I wonder what the he heck is going on here. Doesn't seem to be injured at least. Not on the outside anyway. Should I take her back yep. to town? I guess so. Let's have Jones look at her. What do you think? She's a bit debilitated, but nothing quite call. She should wake up in a bit. I see. That's good to hear. She was a monster, you say? That's right. Why did a monster... Let's see. I suppose if I start asking questions now, I'll never stop and it won't do any good anyway. So let's wait for her to wake up, then see what she has to say. That sounds good. Have you told Lady Ventuswill about this? Not yet. Could you go and tell her now? We need to continue monitoring her at least for a little while. Understood. I'll go right now. Alright, so let's go tell Ventuswell. I hope she's gonna be fine. Well, I know she's <laughs> I know she's gonna be fine. So yeah, let's go talk to Ventuswell. No, who's Blossom? Oh, why? Hello there. Oh, hi. Um, since I'll be living here now, I thought I'd come around and inter introduce myself properly. Oh, my. my my, how courteous of you. <laughs> I'm very pleased to meet you. The pleasure is mine. Oh, yes. We were in such a rush before I forgot to mention that I run a general store. A general store? Yes. It's an east part of town. If there's anything you need, yes. do stop on by. I don't... Yeah, we're gonna take a look at the general store a bit later. Venti. Oh, Josh, is something the matter? Hmm, I don't know where to start exactly. I was in Yokmir Forest just now. Yokmir Forest? Why, why are you getting shocked already? That's not a surprising part. Oh, yeah, I suppose not. Anyway, I went to Yakmir Forest and I was attacked by a butterfly monster there. So I fought back, but when I defeated it, it turned into what looks to be a human girl. What? Are you serious? Wow, where is she? Wait, wait, Venti, calm down. She's sleeping at the clinic. I see. That means you really are. Huh? Nothing. Never mind. Hello, everyone. Oh... Cloudy skies, I'm glad you you were able to make it. I know it's super early for you. But yeah, we just did we just finished beating up the first bus and went through the whole kind of prologue. So yeah, I hope you're doing good. I um well fine, I was going to ask you to go to Yokmir Forest. What? I sensed something dark from that area. So I was going to ask you to check it out once you gotten used to your prince duties. Me? Why? Well, it is actually best that I undergo such tasks myself, but I fear I'm... Hmm? At any rate, you seemed suitable to the task I did. You have talent in you. I can see it. I can feel it. Talent? Well, it doesn't matter. Even without me requesting, you still went. The result was the same. Huh? Venti? Mm. Are you sure you don't know anything about me? What? To be honest, I'm worried. Without my memories, I have so many questions. So if you know anything, anything at all, please tell me, okay? Sorry. Unfortunately, I really don't know anything about you. Regarding the girl you saved, I believe the power of the Earthmates is responsible for what transpired. Earthmates. Yes. It's a name given to people with a very rare talent, and it's the reason I thought you might belong to the royal family. 
I had no idea a power like that even existed, much less that I had it in me. I've been asking for your help because of that gift of yours. Though I wasn't certain of anything until you fixed the problem in the forest. I had a long shift yesterday, so I slept a bit too long this morning. Thank you for the short update about your progress. You're welcome. Thank you so much. I hope you're able to sleep well. What's wrong? Who am I? What am I? Getting attacked by strange... Getting attacked by strange people in the form of monsters and apparently bearing the power of an earthmate. It's all so surreal, like I'm a stranger to myself. I wish I could shed some light on the mystery, but there's only one thing I can say with any certainty, and that's that you are who you are. I haven't known you for very long, but I already have a firm sense of what you represent. I know I'm the very person who's been asking for your help since you've arrived, but you managed to handle both of my requests and tasks as a model prince. You are a kind person. I don't think you're even aware of the trust that you engender. Even amnesia can't change a heart as pure as yours. Oh, thank you so much. Venti, I'm sorry. I'm not good at this sort of thing. I wish I could word it all a little bit better. No, it's quite all right. Hmm? Having no memories is a little scary, but your words have definitely made me feel a lot better. So thank you. Glad to hear it. So about the girl, she hasn't woken up yet, has she? No. Jones told me that she should wake up fairly soon though. Then I guess we'll just have to wait until she does. But what would you do? Ah, uh, don't worry. I told you before, right? The people of this town are warm and caring. They'll welcome her no matter what. What's wrong? Are you still worried about something? You know, I was just marveling at your optimism. What? I'm not... It's not optimism, it's fate. Pure, unwavering fate in the people of Selfia. I suppose. And I can understand it too. The people in this town really do seem completely trustworthy. Though that may sound weird coming from an outsider like me. What are you saying? You're a member of our town just like anyone else here. Unless you don't want to be... No, no, of course I do. I just might have to leave once my memory comes back. Even then... Oops, sorry, I just hit my mic. Even then, you'll still be a member of this community. Your family now. Think of it as your second hometown. And now that you're always welcome here. Okay. Okay, thanks. I'm the one who should thank you for helping me. Anyway, you must be awfully tired today. Go get some rest. What is wrong, Josh? I want to... Just talk. If you have any questions about Lady Venteswill, you should ask Kiel. He's been researching the native dragons for some time, but if he tells you that I love sweets and that I'm scared of ghosts, don't believe him. He's lying, alright? Uh, okay. Alright, so let's see if there's any orders we can make. Development. A uh, new backpack could be quite useful. But I think... I don't know if I... Maybe I should... You know what? It, <laughs> it never hurts. To have a bigger backpack, so let's do that. What do I do? And let's see, I think the request box is only one request a day, right? Yeah, that's all for now. I'll give you a new request next time. I check the request. Chop plumber. Oh, okay, so I, I'm guessing somebody's gonna give me an axe tomorrow. So maybe we can go back outside and explore some more. Oh, some che- ooh! Yes. Oops, sorry. Some dumplings. So I feel like- okay, let me just look at the map. I think there's one area that I didn't- Yeah, there's one little spot that I have not explored here, so let me just go take a look at that. Yeah, if I go down here, I have not been there. So, there's a little chest. Ooh. See, we got some boot. It's a good thing I came here. So, let me equip that. And, yeah. Oh, some turnips. Maybe I can keep the turnips because there's the cooking festival right soon. And I don't know if I'm... <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to be able to cook, but... Maybe I should keep that turnip. And okay, let's just fight these. And I'm not sure when do you get the barn. I'm guessing that's gonna be still a few days. So I don't know if there's anything productive I could do today. Maybe just talking, maybe just fighting a little bit and then go talking with the townspeople. 
I feel like I'm really getting stronger. Get some grass. I need to make some money. Let me see if I can ship a few things. I, I'm guessing. I think the grass. Uh, I think the grass is gonna be quite useful for making potions and things like that. If I'm not, if I remember correctly. But maybe there's a few things I could ship and start making some money. I don't quite remember like what's important to keep and what's not. Important. Oh, cheap bracelet, so that's probably something I can equip. Oh, I already. Oh, okay, yeah, I've already equipped it. Okay, all right. yeah, I always feel bad for killing these little woolies. By the way, Archer, did you manage to find a place to stay? Of course, I told you, negotiation is my forte. Though in this case, it's more of an acceptance of warm kindness than it was negotiation. Yes, I asked Porcoline, and he went out of his way to assist me, honestly. His generosity is staggering. He has lent me not only a room, but an airship to... Oh, gosh. Presently, I am using the home next to the restaurant as my office and trade center. I fully intend to repay Porcoline for this kindness in any way I can. That's good to hear. Oh, I want to check out the general store. Actually, I want to sell... Uh, let me put some stuff in my shipping bin, I think. So, shipping box. Let's look inside. And so, for example, how much... Oh, you cannot see... Oh, yeah. Um... Sell for 45G. Okay, let me see. Let me see if there's something kind of valuable. This, uh, these herbs are not too bad. Okay, this I'm not going to use. Definitely the weeds, I think I can. I don't know if I should sell the herbs or not. Turn up 30 G. You know what? I'm going to sell that. I have a lot of green grass. I'm going to sell at least one stack. Lumber. Oh, lumber is quite valuable, but I know I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to keep it. And yeah, I'm not too sure. Let's just keep it like this. You have to play the other ones to understand what's going on in Rune Factory Five. I'm getting really interested in the game. No, so that's a good thing. So each Rune Factory has different characters and completely different story. So. Um, yeah, you really don't have to play the previous ones to understand, so that's the good thing. So you don't have to worry about that. You know what? Let me just cut my grass. Oops, actually this one I should pick up. Actually, I'm, ju I'm gonna sell all of them, actually. Rather than just cutting it. Um... Anyone plan planning to get a Japanese version of Rune Factory 5? I'm trying to decide if I should jump in and use a translator or wait for English. Yeah, I'm definitely, <laughs> of course, I'm definitely going to get it as for me. I think since Rune Factory 5 is kind of, well, Rune Factory in general is kind of story focused. I think if you're using a translator, there's going to be a lot like it's going to be very time consuming. But I'd say, I don't know, like, I feel like that's a lot of work, but that might be worth it, right? If you want to get the game early, because otherwise you're going to have to wait, like, there's going to be at least like a six month delay or something, right? Before the international release, so, yeah. Sorry for being so quiet tonight, super busy weekend. I have to go finish up some things, but hopefully I can catch up on the stream tomorrow. And hopefully I won't be late to tomorrow's streams. Yeah, thank you so much, Cynthia. And yeah, see you tomorrow, hopefully. And yeah, so tomorrow we're going to be streaming Olive Town. I want to finish a Lovet's quest. So now I'm on the fourth page. And 
Yeah, I just want to... I think I, I'm able, I would be able to finish everything. I don't know. At least finish the fourth page. So that's kind of my goal for tomorrow's stream. I'm getting it too, but I wonder if it's fun with the translator. Yeah, that's definitely going to be a lot of work. Uh, how nice is it to be greeted with a smile? You're such a pleasant person. Please feel free to stop by and visit whenever you like. Oh yeah, I wanted to check the general store. What's up? God. Oh, it's just you. Uh, hello. Yes, nothing. You can't see him all stuffy and no formal. Is everyone in the royal family like that? Lighten up, it's fine. Um, but I mean it. Well, if you insist, not that I'm actually royalty, but... Great, so do you remember my name? Yes, I do. You do? Awesome. I work here in the general store with Granny Blossom, if you've met her. We've got lots of stuff, so stop on by and buy something, okay? Anyway, it's good to meet you. Alright, so let's see what they sell in the general store. What's up? What's up? So we can buy turnip seeds. So grow three days, harvested two. Okay. Grows well from summer to fall. Recommended for beginners. So even though I'm in spring, it's still gonna. Hmm, that's interesting. So actually, you can. I think you can you grow crops in every season, but they grow better in other seasons. Is that? Is that what it is? So you can buy food. You can buy tools. Okay, I'm not gonna buy anything. Don't want anything. Hello, hello. Okay, so let me see. Mm -mm -mm. I'm not sure what to do with the rest of my day. Oh wait, did I water my wait? Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. Okay. Oh, yeah. So we should have a new request now. We're on the third day, right? Oh, no. That's all fun. Oh, sorry. I'm <laughs> feeling confused for a little bit. No. Okay. So what should I do for the rest of the day? We still have plenty of time, right? I have to wonder why you're still alive after falling from so high. You must be some kind of sorcerer or monster. Yeah. Let's... Oh, let's talk to... I forgot his name. Volcanon, good day, your majesty. Seems you have greeted everyone in town. Selfie is a marvelous place. I'm sure you will grow to love it in no time. I'm loving it already. So... Yeah, I'm not sure what to do. I'm guessing tomorrow she's gonna be better. Mysterious girl. How strange is it that the monster could turn into a girl? Oh, I want to get a fishing rod. Okay, I'm guessing... Yeah, there's not too, too much I can <laughs> do for now. I feel like I'm just gonna... Maybe just go out and beat up some monsters. Oh, vacant house. There's probably gonna be someone here. I love how <laughs> you can see tons of people carrying stuff. Let's see how Porcoline is doing. Oh. Porcoline should be here. Hello. Wonderful. Hello. Hello. Today's meals are cheap, fast, delicious, filling, light and bright, shiningly wonderful. Mm. Oh, cooking tool. Oh. So you want to learn how to cook? Well then, allow moi to present you with one cooking tool for free. Oh, I'd like to have more chefs making delicious dishes and beautiful beaming smiles. I expect droves of delectable dishes from you, Josh. Whoops, I trailed off on a tangent here. You can only use this cooking tool to make simple dishes. So maybe we're at least going to be able to do a little something for the cooking festival. To make other kinds of dishes, you will need a license. Oh, and an appropriate tool. You can order a license when you have collected enough prince points. Do you remember who you married when you first played? Any plan on who you'll choose this time? I th think... So, when I played the first time, I did not marry yet. But I think I was planning to marry Ember. I think that was who I was going for, but I don't remember exactly. And... Now I'm not sure who I'm gonna go for. Maybe Forte? Or... I don't remember. I don't know who are all the candidates. So... 
Yeah, I've not figured that out yet. You can order a license when you have collected enough Prince points. Once you get your license, come to moi and I will sell you the cooking tools you need. Porcelain kind of gives me nightmares. I think Porcelain is going to be in... If I'm not wrong, I think Porcelain is going to be in Rune Factory 5 as well. Or there's a very similar character in the trailer, but I think it's the same one. A knife, for example, to make sashimi or a mixer to make juices and drink. There are many, many, many kinds of cooking tools. I get it. First, I have to get my license. Alright. Oh, onigiri. And... Okay, alright. So... I've got my cooking tool. Okay, so now... Oh, recipe bread. Oh, yeah, remember that so we can... Okay, so yeah, that's too much money. So you can get some bread to learn a recipe, right? So I came to chat. Let's just chat. And then let's bring this in my... Let's talk to Kiel. He's <laughs> like, have you met my sister? And she's right there. With us. Um, Kiel, do you not get along with your sister? What makes you ask that? Nothing. We get along great, actually. You know, when you like a person, you want to learn all about them, right? I hope I get to learn a lot about you, Josh. Uh, sure. Just go easy, okay? <laughs> so cute. Alright, so let's pick this up and let's uh, put it in our room and see what I can cook. I dated the butler Vishnal back in Rune Factor 4. He's so cute. Yeah, he is. I think there's always a uh, same cookie in RF games. Oh, I see. Yeah, oops. <laughs> I was reading the chat, uh, not looking where I was going. Yeah, like in Rune Factory, there's like, I mean, even in Story of Seasons, there's always like a gourmet or like, kind of like a love it, kind of like a food, food focused character, right? Uh, what to make? Cook something simple. Onigiri. So I need, what is that? Rice. Oh, okay, rice. So, okay, we're gonna have to find some rice, and we're gonna make that for the cooking festival. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna win anything. I'm not gonna, but yeah, we're gonna. That's gonna be our goal: make a little rice ball for the cooking festival. I've had a vision I'll save too. My first place from married Leon. Ooh. So, what should we do? Hello. What should we do? Maybe we can go to the bath. So someone earlier said I should go here once a day. Oops, wrong room. Oh, you have to... Yeah, you have to pay, right? <laughs> you have to talk to her. Uh, what can I do for you? I want to use the bath. Seems you still have some free baths. Yeah, go in. She gave me something. That's so nice. Hot milk. Maybe I can keep that for <laughs> the cooking contest, actually. Oh, that's so nice. I love that. Oh, she actually gave me something. Um, Alright, so let's go out. Let's go just fight some monsters for the rest of the day. Then we're going to go to bed. And tomorrow, I think I'm going to get the axe. And yeah, we're going to be able to get some lumber and probably do something with that. Everyone in this game is so cute. Yeah, they really are. All the characters. And the dialogues are pretty good too. So, yeah. I don't know if there's gonna be a way to... I feel like there's gonna be something here at one point. I don't remember too much. Yeah, there's really not much I can explore actually as of now. Oh! Yay, I figured out a long sword, charge attack, hold down B for a long time, then let it go and launch an enemy straight up into the air. Oh. Oh, I see. I didn't remember that. Oh, oh <laughs> I missed it. Alright, so I think... Yeah, there's not, <laughs> there's really not too much you can do on your first few days. Oh, let me pick this up. Actually, since I have a lot now, maybe I can go sell some more medicinal er herb. Yeah, okay, we've collected everything. So let me just ship some herbs. There's probably, and then I think I'm gonna go to bed. I think there's probably gonna be some people telling me that <laughs> I'm not making the most out of my days. I'm probably not the most productive, but I'm not sure what to do. 
So... Oh, maybe I could use these dumplings for the cooking festival, actually. Oh, maybe I can sell... Oh, bamboo shoot 40G. I think I'm gonna sell that. And... Yeah. Ooh, the hot milk sells for 300 almost. Should I sell it? Mm. It's quite valuable, right? But... Yeah, I think I'm gonna keep it. If it's... Yeah. Alright. And... Yeah, let's go to sleep. And... Tomorrow, there's gonna be new things to do. Let's just save, just in case. So let's see if Clarica has anything to say. Have you ever had that experience where the day ends in the blink of an eye? It's so strange, isn't it? Yeah, that's because we went to bed at like <laughs> 5 p.m. So let's see our request here. Our today's requests: make lumber. Write it down. Okay, I wrote down the details of the requests. This request is from Forte. Looks like the whole town's trying to help you out. Lucky you, I guess. Today's request is chopping lumber. Lumber is used in building large furniture and extending rooms. I would like for you to learn how lumber is produced. She sounds stiff even in writing, huh? But she left you a gift, so yeah, we got an axe. Don't worry, Josh, it's about the enjoyment, not productivity for me at least. Yeah, definitely, especially in these kind of games, like usually, like it, do <laughs> it doesn't matter if, if you don't, like there's no time limit, right? So. Uh, you can make lumber by chopping up stumps and branches. Stumps and branches can be found on the fields. Okay, yeah, I know how to do that. So, let's pick this up. Let's equip. Like this. And yeah, let's go chop some wood. You can't use anything you haven't cooked yourself. It normally has a star next to the name. Oh, I see. NPCs can tell what you cook. Oh, they're smart. Okay. <laughs> That's good uh, to know. So, I'm gonna buy some rice and make some rice ball then. But thank you so much for uh, telling me, because otherwise I would have just, I would have just got something out. I would have just used something I already have, right? So let me just clear up my field, and then. I'm gonna <laughs> run short on RP. I think I'm gonna just water my crops first. Make sure I do everything that's more important first. So I think tomorrow our turnips should be ready. So now let's go see our request should be good. Good, you did it. Let me read the rest of Forte's letter. Since you'll be using a lot of lumber, storage is necessary. So here's what you can use. A lumber stone box. Oh, I see. You can pick up your lumber and place it inside for storage. I can give you two per day starting tomorrow. Oh, that's good. Two requests per day. So let's pick it up. I think I actually put a few lumbers in my little box, storage box already. The sale goes up so fast. Yeah, they really do go up really fast. But, yeah. So, we're gonna put this here. And... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I just want to go here. Look inside. I know I put some lumber in here. And I have some branches. So, let me... These branches that I have... I'm just gonna place them... And then I'm gonna cut them. Alright, like this. And I'm gonna put everything in here.
All right, so let's see how much lumbers we have. 37 lumber, which is, I think it's a pretty good start. And... Yeah, we're getting pretty tired, so let's take a bath, because it's only 8 a.m. and we're already... Oh, I think it's not open yet. Is there a schedule? Probably in front here. 10 to 10. 10 to 10. Okay, all right. So let's wait a little bit. And... So we got 192G. Maybe I can go to the general store and buy some extra turnip seeds. So we can make some extra money. Oh, wait, that's the flower shop. I always get lost in this town. I feel like all the <laughs> there's a lot of buildings that look similar. All right, so... Welcome. Show me seeds and groceries. Welcome. And let's just buy some turnips. How many? Oh, I already have five. Um, okay, let's just buy five then. And... Yeah. All right, so let's start that. Oh, let me see if maybe Venti has anything for me. Today's spring four is my birth. Oh, for a present, I'd be pleased with pancakes. Oh, I'm so sorry, Venti. I don't have any pancakes, but can I give her something else? Oh, green grass. It's not the best birthday present, but it's better than getting not at all, I guess. My thanks. You're welcome. So, I want to see... So, you can see your relationships, right? Um, okay, here, friendship levels. So, you get a little hearts if they're marriage candidates, or a little smiley if they're just friends. Ventus will. Okay, so she's at one level. I don't know how many levels are there. Ten? Is it ten? Or... But yeah, she's at one. So it's not too bad, but... Forte is at one, two. Probably because we went uh, exploring together. So... Yeah, okay, let's... Till our soil a little bit. And... Um, at... 10, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna have to go take a bath, because I don't have a lot of energy, and I can't wait to have a hammer, okay, so let's take a bath, because now it's gonna deplete my HP, they can go up to like 100, there really isn't a cap, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, that's a lot, but you need around 10 for marriage and stuff, oh, I see, that's good to know, I'm sure there are some people out there that <laughs> capped everything, all right, so let's take a free bath. Yes. So relaxing. All right, let's just talk. I usually always kind of neglect my relationships, but I want to try. I want to try to be good this time and befriend everybody. I think it's seven for marriage or eight. I see. That shouldn't be too, too bad. Let's plant these turnips. This is so quick. <laughs> like the, everything you do is just so quick. Okay, so I think we should have enough here. Alright, so now let's water it. Oh, oh, I already watered this. Okay, so let me just water the new ones. Oh, is it? Is it in this game? Is it in Rune Factory that you have to water your plants twice a day? Or was that in another story of seasons? I don't remember. I remember there's a game where you have to water. Or was that in Stardew Valley? No, I'm really confused. I know there's a game where you can water your crops twice a day. Anyone knows <laughs> what I'm talking about? Just getting here. Wow, the design in this game is real nice. Hey, Jazzy Jazz. 
yeah it is a really nice design like even though it's a game from 2013 it's quite old but the art style is just so beautiful Oh my gosh, Crystal! Hi Josh, I've been watching all of your Star of Seasons videos, super helpful and fun. Glad to have been able to catch one of your live streams for the first time. Uh, Crystal, thank you so much uh, for this super chat. That's a lot. Thank you so, so much. And yeah, I'm glad you were enjoying the Olive Town videos. Sorry that it's not an Olive Town stream today. But tomorrow, tomorrow at 11... AM EST so in like 15 hours or so I'm gonna be streaming Olive Town so yeah but yeah thank you so much <laughs> for being here I'm glad you were able to make it water twice in three of towns I see I think maybe in a new beginning too in a wonderful life too oh I see sounds like a wonderful life watering twice um, yeah, I think maybe in the new beginning that was a thing too. I don't remember quite well, but I know I know that was too much work. <laughs> I just want to water my crops once a day Honestly, I'm pretty sure it wouldn't be too good to water crops twice a day like in real life unless you live in a very dry climate So okay, let me sell these there's actually a lot here every day. Thank you so much, guys, by the way, just for being here today. Oh, got a little rock here. Yeah, there's a lot of, like, stuff you can interact with in the decor that are actually going to give you stuff. Yeah, I'm so glad <laughs> if you guys missed the beginning of the stream. So, Rune Factory 5 is coming out next month. Uh, the Japanese version is coming out next month. And... So, Rune Factory 4 was on sale on Amazon. It was like $30. It was like 50% off. And I ordered it on February 26th. And it took two months <laughs> before it arrived. So I got it just yesterday. Um, it was actually... It turned out it was out of stock. Even though they put it on sale. But anyway, I got it now. So I'm so happy to be playing this. Thank you for streaming. Thank you for being here. If you need anything, just let me know, okay? Alright, so that's Margaret. She looks pretty. I will. Thanks. That's right. You are a prince, aren't you? It's, is it too impolite for me to call you just Josh? That's fine. I don't mind at all. Hee <laughs> hee. Great. Then that's what I will call you. You can just call me Margaret. This town is pretty big. I hope you are not, you are not getting lost. No, I'm fine. Oh, and try not to walk around too late at night, okay? It can be dangerous. Okay. And, and be careful of this other thing too. Oh, there are so many things I worry about. She's cute. Can you marry her? She's probably... She's probably a marriage candidate, right? Margaret. Oh, yeah, she is. Maybe... I don't know. I haven't made my choice yet. Let's talk to Parkalin. Now seating. Party of 1,000. Oh. Uh, let's just chat. I didn't have enough ingredients to cook yesterday. It must have been a busy day. The ingredients were just too delicious and irresistible. Don't let me... Don't tell me you ate them all. I love the dialogues. Like, there's just... Like, your character is actually talking. So, <laughs> there's a lot. Like, I feel like the dialogues are different every day. So, let me see the cooking tools I can get. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, right. Cooking table. Oh, 500G. Anything else? So, all right. Let me see if there is any order. So, I have 243. I don't know if maybe I can get the cooking license now or maybe it's gonna be more expensive i'm not sure this was the game you were waiting on i'm glad you got it before rune factory 5 came out yeah <laughs> i'm glad i got it on time because it would be bad to <laughs> kind of get it after rune factory 5. so let's see licenses yeah uh easy cooking license 100 point okay let's get this Oh, oh, there's an exam. You can learn recipes for cooking by eating cooking bread. Actually, it's recipe bread, but I think that's going to be the right answer. If your cooking skill is lower than the difficulty level of the dish. If your cooking skill is lower than the difficulty level of the dish, you need more RP. 
recipe, I guess. If you succeed in making difficult dishes, your cooking skill will gain more experience. Yay, I did it. Let's do it. Yay, I've got my cooking license. I got a simple cooking license. I can buy cooking tools from Porcolin. Alright, so the pro cooking license is gonna wait for a little bit, but let's see what kind of cooking tools I can get. So, I want a cooking tool. You have a license for simple recipes. So, here are the lovely tools I can show you. A knife. Oh, that's an expensive knife. Frying pan. Oh, gosh. Okay. Uh, everything's expensive. Okay. Well, everything's out of price for me right now. So, can anybody... Oh, oh. Yeah, I wasn't sure if everybody can follow you. So I think you have to be over a certain friendship, except for Forte, for them to follow you. But, yeah, I didn't know you could ask anybody, actually. So what should we do with the rest of our day? Oh, she's talking about the clinic. Sorry, um, what should we do? So it's... 2 p.m. Let's see if Venti has anything else to say or... Um, oh no, yeah. Okay, so that's her birthday. Alright, so maybe let's... Mm, you have to get your friendship over 3, I believe. Oh, I see. So yeah, so tomo from tomorrow we're gonna have 2 requests per day. So things are gonna start getting a little bit busier. And now I really wanna go fishing. Does anyone know when I'm gonna get a fishing rod? Oh, oh, Josh. Oh, yeah, I completely forgot about Ember. The girl you brought here has woken up. Oh, really? Ah, she's so cute. Hee <laughs> hee. How are you feeling? I'm okay. Glad to hear it. I'm Josh. What's your name? My name is Ember. Wait. Are you the one with the funny face? <laughs> so you're the one who saved me then, yes. I guess, funny face. <laughs> wow, well, thank you very much. You're very welcome. But why were you out there? Mm, I'm not really sure. Really, my name is just about the only thing I can remember. It's probably the shock of monster attacks. That's caused her to lose some of her memories as well. I feel like I'm forgetting something really important though. Mm. Oh well, you are. If I can't remember, there's nothing I can do about it, right? So, no sense dwelling on it. That's true, I guess. So, what are you gonna do now? Now, well, there's no need to worry. Oh. What's your name? It's Ember. A pleasure to meet you. It's Ember. <laughs> and may I say, that's quite an unusual name you've got. No, Lumi. Her name is Ember. Oh, I see. Ember, huh? Listen, Ember. Why don't you come stay with me? Hmm. That's a good idea. Okay, I will. How could I leave an interesting girl like her all alone? Oh, you, my dear, may call me Lumi. Lumi, good. Now I'll show you the way home. Come follow me. Alrighty. Alright. I do love this town, it's so peaceful and friendly. <laughs> do you think it'll be okay to get her? If they're both fine with this arrangement, I don't see why not. Lumi is a fine, upstanding adult after all. Upstanding? Josh, I noticed you've had a lot of scrapes and bruises lately. Maybe you should carry some more medicines with you. You can make all sorts of them if you had a chemistry set. To build a chemistry set, you will need a thousand gold. I'll, I've got the lumber and I'm gonna need more stones. And you need a chemistry license, you can get a license at the order symbol. So, I want to see the medicine. I want to see how expensive the medicine is. 80G. Yeah, that's too much for me. And Paragon. Paragon. Medicine that cures paralysis. And Roundup. Medicine that dissolves seals. Their expressions are the absolute best. Yeah. Thank you. 
I just love the portraits and everything and the dialogues. Are you in need of any medicine? So is he selling the same Welcome. thing for the same price? Yeah, exactly. That's the same. Thank you very same much. exact. Exact same. So yeah, there's not much. Maybe I should just chat. Maybe if I just want to improve my friendship with everybody. Alright, so now what should we do? Maybe we can go see Lumi. Hello. Oh, hello. Ember will be staying at my house. You should come visit her sometime. Yeah, that's exactly what I was gonna do. But I don't remember where she lives. So I'm just... Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I was like, I'm just gonna follow her because I don't remember. Wait, uh, wait. Let me check the map. No, she's not here. Where is Ember? Where is... Oh, she's here. I want to see if there's going to be like a cutscene or something. Oh, no. Let's just talk. Ember. Ah, Ember. It's a funny face person. <laughs> it's Josh. My name, it's Josh. Oh, do you understand now? Yep, I finally get it. That's good. So, um, Josh. Yes, thanks. Oh, uh, thanks to you. I managed to wake back up. So, thank you. You're welcome. Oh, and I'm really glad to meet you. Same here. Welcome. Okay, so there's not too much else. So, maybe I have to go talk to Venti again. Wait, Josh, it's a beautiful day, isn't it? Yeah. So, yeah, I think... Okay, maybe I can go sell some of my herbs that I've collected. Oops. Uh, wait, that's not... <laughs> I'm looking for this, actually. So strange, I can hear you in the game, but no visual. Hmm. What about everybody else? Because everything seems fine for me. Uh... Everything should be good. I don't know if you're the only one or if it's... Hmm. Maybe try to refresh your page. Refresh the stream. I can see and hear you fine. Okay, that's reassuring. Yeah, try refreshing, I think. Sorry, I, <laughs> I did, so, so I'm, I'm just so used to Olive Town where they just say one line of dialogue. So I thought it was just going to say one line. So I kind of skipped through it. And then it ended up being longer and I <laughs> didn't read. Uh, think of it as a great favor to me. Let's... Yes. I have no idea what he said. No. no problem. It doesn't sound all that hard. If you didn't mind terribly. Yes, would it be possible for me to call you Prince? Uh, I'm not a prince. I know that. It's just, well, it's, um, it's always been a dream of mine. Let me think about this. Uh, let's just... Yeah. Alright. It's a little embarrassing to be honest, but I guess it can hurt every now and yes. again. Thank you so much, Prince. Alright, so let's go beat up some monsters for the rest of the day. And... Yeah. YouTube is weird sometimes. Definitely, yeah. It's just so weird as it started out fine and the visual cut out. It is odd, but... <laughs> I'm glad you were able to figure it out. Okay, let's go in here. The monsters are a bit stronger. Oh, what's that? Oh, oh, we can teleport back there automatically. So I'm not sure when I'm gonna get the hammer. I'm guessing probably tomorrow. And so whenever I do, I'm gonna get here. I'm not sure what these minerals are. But I'm pretty sure they're gonna be necessary. to start fishing i don't remember how the fishing oh. yeah i don't remember too much how the fishing works in this game but 
Oh, 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 so much stuff in here. Can... Let me just see these little ants. Fur. All right. It's not really an old game, but I feel so nostalgic if I hear and see Rune Factory forever. I know, right? But actually, it's, it is getting old. So, in my mind, I thought... I thought the original one came out in like 2016 or something like that. But then I looked it up earlier today and I realized that it came out in 2013. So it's still almost like getting close to 10 year, right? So it's not old old, but it's still kind of old. Yeah, definitely old enough to trigger some <laughs> nostalgic feelings. Ooh, some orange. Guessing that's probably gonna be quite valuable. And what's this? Pike sashimi. Oh, I see. Oh, there's something I forgot to pick up earlier. Alright. Hey there, Jazz. Hi, Soggy Duke Bat. Hope you're doing good. Have you played this before? Yeah, I've played on the 3DS um, when it first came out. So as I said earlier, like in 2013, but it's been quite quite a while and I never finished the game like a hundred per... I didn't finish the main story. So yeah, and it's been quite a while. So I don't remember exactly... I don't remember too, too much. Um, yeah, oh yeah, I'm gonna put stuff in my shipping bin. Can't wait for Rune Factory 5. I know it's coming soon. Well, the Japanese version is coming soon, so <laughs> I'm going to be able to give you guys a, a kind of sneak peek of the game. But hopefully the international release doesn't doesn't take too long. Oh, the bread sells for quite a lot of money, actually. I'm going to sell it. Insect jaw. I think that's going to be useful for like crafting later to make weapons and stuff. I'm not too sure. I don't remember too well, but yeah, so I think... I think for today there's not much more to Oops. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go to oh there's something here. Oh it's you is something the matter. It's cloth, I thought it was cheesy. <laughs> sometimes with these sometimes it's hard to to tell what it is. Uh nothing in particular uh, so you just came by for no reason. I've been wondering this for a while, but you're in love with me, aren't you? Um, <laughs> huh? uh, you are, after all, rather cute. What are you saying all of a sudden? Don't be so shy. That's not... What? <laughs> Do you not like me? No, it's not that. It has to be one or the other, right? Well, if it's one or the other, then I guess... I like you as a friend. <laughs> Is that gonna work? Uh, and here I was hoping I could get you to unwittingly confess your love for me. I finished all arcs. It was really great. Hope you have fun till the end with it. Thank you so much. I'm hoping I can manage to finish it before starting Rune Factory 5. But yeah, let's see how it goes. I'm really starting to get into these types of games again. So I'll definitely get Rune Factory 5. That's good. Hopefully you'll enjoy it. Hopefully it's going to be good. Uh, well, I do like you, but not like that, you know. <laughs> What is it? It's been a while since I've messed around with someone like this. I guess you, I really don't see you act this way in front of anyone else. Why is that? Well, because I'm a native dragon, a god, you see? Ah yes, that's it. How is a god supposed to keep her dignity when she's getting so close to humans? What's a native dragon, actually? Yes. That's right. Most native dragons have a rather difficult personality. But really, that's how a god should be. After all, if I let everyone talk to me so casually, wouldn't people start depending on me for anything and everything? I am the most approachable, approachable divine dragon in the world after all, really? Now, in all seriousness though, it's of course alright to depend on me from time to time, but I can't be everywhere at once and I can't solve every issue. I'm not that kind of dog. Uh, <laughs> I'm not that kind of god. If that sort of chaos were to begin, people would start forgetting how to solve problems for themselves. I'm in love with this town. I want to protect Selfia and eventually I'll be gone. But I want this town to keep flourishing well into the future. That's why the current distance between myself and the townsfolk seems absolutely perfect. 
I see, that does make sense, but I think the people in this town would be alright getting to know the real you. I certainly don't believe they'd ever become completely reliant on you. Well, that's true, but it's something that's been driven into my consciousness. I can't give up so easily. Well, what about me then? You don't keep your distance from me. You're an exception. Oh. <laughs> because you like me? He, <laughs> you little rascal. But thanks to you, I'm having fun now. Don't look so puzzled. You're a fun person. Now, let's wrap this up before someone else sees us. I'll get going. Alright, see you. Bye. Alright, that was a cute little interaction. There's a lot to talk about, but it may be best to save it for another time. If we have a long chat right now, someone might see us. Alright, so it's 7 p.m. It's not too late, but let's... I think we're done for the day, so let's sleep. And let's see what tomorrow brings us. Oh! What was that sound? What's happening? Let's see. Ryo... Oh! She must be muttering in her sleep. I shouldn't disturb her. Good night, Venti. Okay, I think that's it. Okay, I thought something. All right, that was interesting. Venti's a nice doggo, but your heart has only space for Porco. <laughs> Time to wake up. Ember is a sweet girl. We've become fast friends. I'm so happy. I'm happy for you guys. So let's see if Venti has anything to say today. Tomorrow is the cooking contest. Oh yeah. Gosh, I can hardly wait to see what sort of delicious feast. So, I really want to make something. I don't know if I really should, but... Yeah, so I'm gonna have to buy some rice. And uh, make some rice ball. Here are today's requests. Make a shipment. More seeds available at the general store. Oh, that's gonna be good. I should have done that before planting more turnips then. He's offering to teach you how to ship through this request. Thank you. I'd like to request a shipment. First place, one turnip into the shipping box. Okay, yeah, I know how that works. Alright, so... Oh, and he's giving me the turnip, so that's even easier. But I think my turnips, the ones I planted, must be... Are they ready? I'm not too sure, but... Oops, <laughs> let's just throw stuff. Alright, like this, and... All right, oh, yeah. I did it. That's just so satisfying when you pick up the stuff in this game. It's just so fast and they all stack up. I I just <laughs> love it so much. Oh, and oh, that's a little rune, right? That, um, okay, alright, so let's just... So we're gonna unlock new seeds, so I'm gonna just do this reward and then we're gonna check out what new seeds are available. You did a great job. Oh yes, I asked the general store to increase the variety of seeds. Buy seeds at the store, grow them, and ship out as much as you can. And there's another request. Give an item. Deliver a turnip to Clarica. Oh, and I'm gonna get the sickle. That's good. I really need a turnip. Would you please get me one? And of course, <laughs> it's giving me the turnip, so that's quite easy. Alright, so let me look at that little map and try to find Clorica. I think she's inside the castle, actually. Clorica, yeah, alright. Thank, thank you so much. Now I'd like to give you this cheap sickle as a thank you. A cheap sickle by using this to reap crops, you'll be able to get your hands on some high quality seeds. Oh, so that's how you get seeds, I see. You can also get rid of weeds, weeds very quickly. It's a very useful tool for cleaning the fields. She's a little wacko, but very helpful. So, ta -ta -ta. so it seems like I'm the only one who knows about Eliza, <laughs> the request box. So let's equip this and let's try our sickle. Yay. So... Apparently you can get seeds uh, from by using the sickle. So all right, let's go check the general. Let's say hi to Margaret. Are you awake? Good morning. Good morning. So let's check the general store and see if there's any new. Oh. Maybe oh maybe it's too early, right? Let me just check the schedule. 
I like that. Actually, I don't think the shops are closed on... I think they're all open every day, right? They just have a different schedule on holiday. Uh, so weekday from 9. Okay, so... so let's tired. say hi. Dog. But yeah, I think I'm gonna go water my turnips. I'm gonna till the soil and get it ready for the other crops. And at 9, I'm gonna come back. Oh, yeah. Oh, I just made a lot of money with my shipping stuff. Alright, so let's just till the soil, get it ready for more crops. I've never played these, but looks kind of overwhelming. I don't know if over... I wouldn't say overwhelming. There's definitely a lot to do. Um... But I find, I don't know, these kind of games for me are just so relaxing. And, yeah. I think you can make it overwhelming if you'd like. But, for me it's mostly like a, a very relaxing game I feel like. Like this, and... Yeah, now let's go to the store and see what kind of seeds we can buy at this point. Oh, I like that you can actually... It's not even 9 yet, it's like 8.57, but you can still buy the seeds. Oh, so they're quite a bit more expensive. So you can buy potatoes and spinach. Oh, spinach, just two days. Should I go for spinach? Side? Potatoes are quite more valuable, but yeah, let's go with potatoes. So how many? Maybe maybe I should. Oh oh oh! You can't. Okay. Um, let me buy like ten potatoes and let me buy a few spinach. Grows fast, but withers quickly. Oh, so it seems like your stuff can wither actually if you don't water them or if you don't pick them up quick enough whereas in story of seasons usually if you don't water it they're just not gonna grow but they're not like gonna wilt the switchy shop japan never works with my card paypal but the nintendo japan website just allowed me to pre-order rune factory 5 oh that's nice uh yeah i think if you yeah it's kind of tricky to order from the japanese e-shop with usually you need a japanese credit card but you were able to order it with the from the Nintendo's website. Maybe I should try that because for um, for Olive Town, I had to buy like a gift card on some kind of website, like third-party website. I had to buy like a gift card, uh, like a Nintendo eShop card. But it was so expensive. I bought like a nine thousand yen card. But it cost me like 120 Canadian dollar. Like it was quite like overpriced actually. So if you can order it from the Japanese, um, yeah, I would have to try that. The opening on the 3DS is my fave. Yeah, the opening is really good actually. I didn't remember it too much, but I, I watched it before the stream. From the Rune Factory website, I did play Asia. I did play Asia gift cards, and it adds up. Olive Town was super pricey for me too. Yeah. Yeah, it's super pricey if you want to go with the gift cards. Yeah, I'm gonna try. So okay, let's just till the soil a bit more. I, I still have a few seeds. Okay, so maybe here. I can't wait to like have a hammer, a proper hammer. Okay, let's just plant this. No clue when you started, but hi, I finally got my desk and computer set up. Ooh, congrats on getting everything set up. Yeah, it started two hours, 20 minutes ago, so it's... 
It's been... <laughs> we've been here for a little while, but yeah, I'm glad you're able to make it. Alright, so let's just clean up our lumber and then maybe so we finish our two requests maybe we can go talk to venti see if she has anything to say if not i think i can just go get some grass to sell oh i want to get the recipe bread from uh porcupine pork Sparkling, sparkling. I don't know if I'm gonna learn a recipe that I can actually make, but yeah. So tomorrow is the cooking contest. So cooking bread, a hundred gold. Yeah, sure. Yes. A lot of work for my hubby did it. Oh, he built a desk. I set up the computer because I got a home from work and about seven, but glad you seem to be having fun, Josh. Yeah, I'm really having fun uh, so far. It feels so good to be back to Rune Factory 4 because I haven't played in such a long time. Uh, okay, let's bake one more. Oh, I don't have enough gold. Oh my gosh, I used all of my money <laughs> for that last bread. Oops. And pickled turnip. Now it's sim very simple cooking. Oh my gosh, I learned a lot of recipes actually. Even with just one bread, you learn a lot. So, okay, actually, oh, did I already? I should have kept my, ah. So, so when you put stuff in there, they pick it up at 8 a.m., right? And I put my turnips there early and now i want to make i want to make the pickled turnip for the cooking contest tomorrow but i sold my turnip so what are we gonna do uh bamboo rice so i don't have money for rice i can't make onigiri i don't have pickles i don't mm, what should i do i need to mm, <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna get something for the cooking contest. You can also find turnips in the wild as well, Josh. Oh, really? Okay. Uh, let me try that. Let me go find a turnip. Oh, let me just take a bath first because our RP is quite low. Hello. So, yeah, let's go try to find a wild turnip. But, yeah, it's such a shame that I sold everything. I should have kept one. So, let's take a little bath. And hopefully I can find a turnip without too much trouble. Yes. Wouldn't onigiri work? Yeah, but I don't have rice and I <laughs> spent all of my money. I just have 5G left, so I don't think I'm going to be able to to buy rice, right? They're not common, I admit, but you find chests that can have ingredients. Yeah, if you break crates in the wild, you can get turnips and rice. Okay, let's try that, guys. Yeah, 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 let's try and hopefully we can find some treasure chests or some nice little crates. Okay, so nothing here. Yeah, let's try to find some kind of ingredients. Ah, uh, yeah, let's see. Okay, so we've got some crates here. That's a good good start let's hope there's something valuable in here oh no oh, level up. Okay. all right so nothing in these crates has he beaten the first boss yet yes i've already i did that on the second day i try on the first day i tried on hard mode and all by myself and <laughs> I got killed quite fast, but
but on the second day I went with Forte and on the normal difficulty setting and it was a lot easier. Oh! Oh, I didn't know you could be... Ah, no! No, 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 no. I didn't... <laughs> I didn't think you could fight that thing a second time. I didn't mean to come back here. So what happens if... Do you get any kind of reward for... That's really not what I meant to do today. That really <laughs> messed up my plans. I feel like I'm gonna end up in the clinic. But actually, I might be able to beat her. I feel like I'm quite a bit stronger than the first time. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna be fine, we're gonna be fine. Even without Forte's help. Oh my gosh, these butterflies. Hopefully she gives me some food or something. Oh yeah, press that R. Yeah, oh, thank you so much for... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> thank you so much, Rox. Well, it's... I read that a little bit too late, but yeah. So did she give me any reward, actually? Yeah, thank you for reminding me that I could do that. But now I'm wondering if I missed any kind of drop. You got bus items. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't get the items. So let me let me get those items. Am I gonna... Oh, I'm gonna have... To, okay, no, never mind. You know what? We're just gonna give up. Uh, so, I don't know if she dropped anything interesting, but... Yeah, so, we're not getting any treasure. There's still a few areas that I haven't checked. I hope you didn't press it too early. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of messed up, but... That's okay. <laughs> that's what we do. Uh, so let's see. No fur. So no luck. So I know sometimes, like when you, uh, when you come in and out. I don't know if there's actually a chance of the treasure chest. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that sounds fascinating. Okay, wait. Let me let me see what's in there. Okay, but let me see if I can get more treasure chests to appear like this. If you need any advice, you got plenty of fans to help. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. I know there's there's a lot of help out here, so thank you so much. I wish you guys could send me some rice or some turnip. I find the second bus area has a lot of crates. Yeah, I don't have I don't have access to that area yet. Thank God there's no <laughs> there's no loading screen there's no like loading time otherwise I wouldn't if this was Olive Town I definitely wouldn't be doing that. Sorry guys, just trying to get a chest here. Shouldn't be too long. Hopefully soon. I don't know. Maybe there's a limit of. Uh, like chests that can spawn in a certain area or like a, a certain amount of chests per day or something I did it. Oh well I leveled up some kind of skill <laughs> Okay, so I, it seems like I'm not as lucky now. There's no more no more chests. Or do you need onigiri? Maybe I missed that yeah, I need any kind of food, actually. I could, if... I just need, because tomorrow is the cooking contest, so I just want to cook something. Uh, and I could have rice, 
with rice I can make onigiri. Uh, if I have turnips, which I had, but I sold. Oh, uh, 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 there was a chest. There was a chest here. If I had, yeah, turnip or rice or cucumber, but I feel like cucumber would be a little bit difficult to get. You might be able to find food around the town in random spots like the bushes. Oh, okay, let's try that. It's getting late, so okay, let's just check that one more time. No, okay, all right. Yeah. Uh, let's Okay, let's see. Let's try to find some bushes. Let's try to go around town and try to find some food. I feel like it's kind of hopeless now, but we don't have... It's already 7 p.m. Oh, actually, you can teleport, right? So, let's go see in front of the restaurant. Yeah, let's see. Maybe... Let's see if there's maybe anything in the restaurant. Good evening. Welcome. Welcome. Like here. What's inside here? Oh, nothing. Um. So I can you buy? Welcome. Yeah, no. Come back soon. Oh, yes. Yay, thank you so much, guys. <laughs> thank you so, so much. Thank you. We made it. We found some rice. I don't know who would put plant in... Who, who would put rice in the plants? But someone did it. And we're gonna be both to finally make our little recipe. Cook something simple. Can you fail a recipe? No, it just takes more RP, right? So, yeah. Yay. Success. Onigiri. Onigiri. Um, so, yeah, we made it. So we're gonna have something very simple for the cooking contest, but at least we're gonna have something. Yay, thank you. <laughs> so, all right. So, 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 so. Um, maybe we can go to sleep. I think we had a pretty, pretty good day. Maybe I could talk to people. Maybe, let, let's see if... Venti has anything to say. Tomorrow's the cooking contest. I can't hardly hey that, that, that. Okay, alright. Yeah, let's just go to sleep and do the cooking contest. Call it a day. Yes. You can fill a recipe. Oh, okay, that's good to know. Only if it's way higher. I see. I tend to interact with anything that has the arrow in the I first few days of this game. I like how everything has a description. Yeah. It's really important to... There's a lot of things you can interact with. Um, so let me water my crops first. I don't remember too much how festivals work in this game if it's gonna Like mess up my whole day if I go to town. Oh, yeah, we got this right. We got a fireball earlier and the power wave I don't remember how these work too much. So let me It's been such a long time since I've played that game. I think you put them here, right? No? I'm doing oh oh here okay run ability okay uh fireballs okay all right like this and charge weapon to release shock waves okay let's try this I don't remember too much okay so that's that and that's that okay all right so that's good okay so let's water crops. Uh, silly question, but did Josh look through the fan art that's in the basement? No, I didn't look. Hmm. What's in? Let, let me let me check. Oh oh, there's some. Oh, well, that's the cooking festival. I didn't water my crops. Good morning. Oh Josh, what are you all doing here? We came. Oh no, that's not for the cooking festival. I think that's something different. Uh, assistance with what? Well, you've heard the cursed voices, right? We want to learn more about them, all about them. Blah, cut it out, Granny Blossom. I'm not sure I'm familiar with these cursed voices. What's the story behind them? Uh, people have been reporting creepy voices echoing through the town every night lately. So it was not Venti, 
Uh, <laughs> cursed voices in the night. Could it be Venti in her sleep? Oh, maybe it was. Uh, no, that's not very likely, is it? Oh, <laughs> but if it's not sleep talking, then what else could it be? That's it. It must be Venti howling into the lonely wind. The fan art will be one of Eliza's requests. You don't need to worry about that. Uh, what time you make it, you will get reminded. Oh, I see. Hey, just remember that the soil has quality too. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I'm gonna have to keep an eye on that. Yeah. Uh, I'll joking aside, Josh, have you heard these voices? Actually, I have. So why are you guys here again? Well, this is just a rumor, rum rumor to mind you, but it seems someone found out where those voices were coming from. I was told they were coming from the ruins in the southeast. There are so many monsters there, though, that no one ever gets anywhere near the place. Strange stuff, huh? We might just have to admit that it's really a curse. C -c Granny Blossom. Fortunately, there hasn't been any damage in the town just yet, but if the rumor spreads too far, it could be a huge blow to tourism. That's why we came to ask Lady Ventus Will of her assistance. We know it's not good to rely on her to solve all our problems, but Margaret was so scared that she practically begged us to come. I was so not scared. <laughs> I was not scared. Cursed voices, you say. I have an idea what it may be. Please put it out of your minds. I'll handle this. I'll handle this matter myself. You will. Yay, now I can finally get some sleep. Admit it, you were scared to death. I was not. Thank you, thank you very much, Lady Ventus Will. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So, you have an idea what it might be? Would you mind elaborating, Venti? What the? Who do you think you are, anyway? Do you have some sort of grudge against me? Something to prove, maybe? What? What's wrong? <laughs> what did I do? To think that anyone could confuse my howling for a cursed voice? <laughs> what am I? A wolf? A dog? Look me in the eyes and say that again. Oh, you heard that, huh? <laughs> I'm right in front of you and you were not exactly whispering. How could I not have heard that? And on top of everything else, you used my nickname in the presence of others. Oops. Sorry, sorry. Can you forgive me? I said I'm sorry. Yes, but did you mean it? I did. I'm really, truly sorry. You're certain you meant it? Every last groveling, sniveling syllable. Absolutely from the bottom of my heart. Prove it then. Go see what's going on in the water ruins. If you'd please. Sure, I can go. Wait, what? Considering, consider it punishment for your insolence. Now go. But did you just say you would handle this? I'd like very much to look into this matter with my own eyes, yes. But I really shouldn't be away from the castle. I can look after the castle in your place, you know. A native dragon can never be replaced by the likes of a human such as you. I've been meaning to ask actually, what's a native dragon? You can't be serious. Do you really not know what the native dragons are? Well, I did lose my memory after all. Good gracious. I never would have imagined there to be anyone in this land who would never heard of the native dragons. You truly are hopeless. Allow me to explain. Listen carefully, Josh. Listen, guys. In this world, there are four dragons regarded as gods. Terrible. Dragon god of the earth presides over resurrection. Fearsome. Dragon God of Fire presides over destruction. Aquaticus. Dragon God of Water presides over transformation. And then there's me. I'm Ventus Will, Dragon God of the Wind. I rule the abyss of time. Hey, Rat Gamer. Rat Gamer. Thanks for joining. Glad to see you're able to make it. Since the earliest eras of antiquity, the four of us have been collectively referred to as the native dragons. I see. Are we on the same page now? I think I have an idea what the native dragons are. Yes, but if you're a god, then why don't you handle this problem like you said you would? Do you think I should solve everything for the humans? I've said it before and I'll say it again. What humans can accomplish on their own should be accomplished solely by humans. I will lend my aid when the time is right for me to do so, then and only then. That's what it means to be a god. Also, to be honest, you're perfectly suited to this particular case. There exist special locations in this land known as, 
known as rune spots. These are places where runes tend to be found in high concentrations. And there are four such spots around here. The place where Ember was found is one of them. And there's another one, the water winds. Perhaps a monster or monsters are causing trouble there. Just like in Yokmir Forest, Josh, as an earthmate, I need your help. Will you accept this mission? Sure thing. Thanks, I'm sorry if I need trouble, this may cause you. Did you say the water runes is located in the southeast? That's right, first go to the forest, full of mushrooms from the town, then the head east, and you'll find a bridge, cross a bridge, and you'll arrive at the water runes. Did you get all that? Yes, okay, got it. That's my Josh. If you lose your way, feel free to come, ask me anytime, and don't forget there are monsters along the way, and in their ruins as well. Actually, just in case, I think, I think you should have this. Venti's charm, what is this? Ah, it looks like an ordinary feather, doesn't it? But it's so much more than that. I like this sassy dragon. <laughs> yeah, I like her too. Uh, it looks like an ordinary feather. It's a feather plucked from me. Amazing. <laughs> uh, yeah, I gathered that much. My power dwells within it. If you equip it, I'll, it will protect you from monster attacks. So it's like a defensive charm then. Yes. Its effect isn't tremendously pronounced, but it should prove at least somewhat helpful. But if you don't equip, it won't do a thing for you. So don't forget to equip it. Alright, so let's equip it. Okay, let me just have a sip of water. I've been... <laughs> I, need, I need water. Just give me a second. Okay. So, okay, let's equip this. So, where is this little feather? This one right here. So, defense plus 3, magical defense plus 8. Uh, oh, okay, right here. So, alright, so, okay, we were, uh, yeah, let's water the crops. Let's go back to what we were doing. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna water the crops. And after that, we're gonna go to the cooking contest with our little rice ball and we're probably not gonna win I don't remember how the cooking contest goes in this game only thing I know is I remember the festivals were quite fun in comparison to other like Olive Town for example <laughs> but I don't remember too much to be honest okay, so we've watered everything And, okay, so, you know when you're talking to someone and you get a whole X feeling? Well, I hear that right then, you might be able to see something you can't normally see. I wonder what that means. Hmm? I did it. I'm not sure what she means by X feeling. I have no idea what she's talking about. Um. So, what's happening with... The cooking contest actually when I don't know if there's a specific time cooking contest I'm not sure let's do the request I'm sure oh seems there's a festival today I must say I'm quite impressed you'd be checking for requests on a day like this oh purchase rice write it down I wrote down the details of the request in my notebook All right, let's try. Let's try to buy rice. Oh, and we got money, so that's good. But how? Starts at eleven. Oh, I see. Talk to the butlers. They usually give tips, but I'm not sure what she means. Yeah. <laughs> Press X when you're talking to characters, and you can see their whole portrait. Oh, really? Morning. Oh, like this. I see. That's nice. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for clarifying. You need to ask Balkanan. Okay, let's... I'm gonna talk to everybody. Um, at night, I hear strange voices from outside. I love how everybody's kind of gathering here. So, I need to talk to Balkanan. Ho ho ho, what a glorious spring weather. Preparation for the tasting are complete. I will taste each and every dish, judging it with all the imp impartiality in the world. Yes, each and every dish. Today's the cooking contest. Participants can register between 11 and 1200 hours in the castle plaza. Don't be late. It's a bit early, but would you like to go over the rules? Yeah, please teach me the rule. Um, now then, allow me to explain the rules. 
participants will submit their favorite dish to see who has the best cooking. Well, I, it's not my favorite dish, but that's the only thing I could make. The creator of the most delicious dish will be the winner. Please submit your chosen dish to me. This is all. Please feel free to ask me. Okay, well, it's pretty simple. Alright, so let's see if the general store... I don't know if the store is going to be open. Oh, it opens at 9, right? Oh, actually, I can already... I like that. Even if you're like outside the schedule, you can still buy. If somebody's here, you can still buy stuff. So let's do this request. This makes me miss portraits so much. Yeah, I just love the like the portraits and like they're changing depending on their expression. And yeah, <laughs> I wish we had portraits in Olive Town. Um. Oh wait. Yeah. Let me just. Wait, I had to bring... Do I have to bring it to Margaret? Or... No, I just... Yeah, I just buy it. So, actually... <laughs> I got the rice already, so... We went searching... We went way beyond... I don't know, I'm trying to say something. Above and... Yeah, we went above and beyond to try to find rice yesterday, and I got one today with that simple request. But, um, yeah, so we've got toy herb seeds. Oh, I forgot. Oh, my gosh. I didn't mean to do that. Okay. Um, yeah, I've, <laughs> I've got toy herb seeds. So let's plant a few things here. I can't wait until I have like a hammer and I can actually remove these rocks. Is Ruins Factory 4 worth it? I would definitely say so if you... If you like Story of Seasons and you'd like to have like combat elements and like more RPG elements, yes. I definitely recommend it. Um, definitely. And like there was so much content with that game, and like I think I got it on Amazon on Amazon.ca, and it was like. 50, well, it was 45% off. So I don't know if on Amazon.com, I don't know if you're in, you're in the US, if it's on sale as well. But it's on sale right now as well. So maybe if you can get it for cheap, um, that's good. And Rune Factory 5 is going to come out later this year. So yeah, you can always check out Rune Factory 4. And then at the end of the year, if you enjoy it, you can get Rune Factory 5 as well. All right, so let's let's just talk to everybody. And yeah, Lumi was yelling something about my memory loss being a mystery, a real case. But is it really? I'm not sure. The weather is amazing. It's perfect to practice sword swinging. That may be true, but please put away your sword before you hurt somebody. A voice coming from the ruins. Some people are saying it might be a ghost, but that can't be true, can it? Hi, Margaret. I hope the voice from the ruins is not a ghost. Did you come all the way to see me? Well, all the way. <laughs> We're just in the plaza. You're going to the ruins, right? Aren't you scared? I'm fine. So, yeah, in one hour, the festival is going to start. I don't know what time it's going to... I don't know if it's going to end at 6 or if it can end early. But, um, we might have... If we have time after the festival, we're going to check out the ruins. It's such a great game with great replayability. Yeah. Um, with this holy earplug, you can block it without any trouble. Ooh, what's so <laughs> holy about it? Yeah. I lined it with silver, you see, which makes the lining more expensive than the earplug. Aren't you losing money then? Hmm, interesting. Hello. Can you have kids in game or marry? Yeah, both. <laughs> I'm not scared per se, but I can't deny that it's rather creepy. I love how everybody... I love how the dialogues... For everybody change depending on what's happening and depending on where you are in the story that's a kind of little detail that I really appreciate so all right I think we can go back and yeah let's just wait for the cooking contest Josh have you pre-ordered the digital deluxe of Rune Factory 5 it's apparently slightly discounted for a while so what do you get with the I, I didn't pre-order Rune Factory 5 yet 
So what do you get with the Digital Deluxe? I'm not sure. I know I'm gonna get the Digital version because I, I want to play on May 20th. So I'm probably gonna buy the... Same as Olive Town, like I'm gonna buy the Digital for the Japanese version and the Physical for the North American one. But I didn't know there was a Digital Deluxe. Josh, I support <laughs> your games and live stream every day, all day. Oh, thank you so much. I don't stream every day though, but thank you <laughs> for your support every day. Good afternoon, your majesty. All right, so yeah, you told me the rules earlier. So do I just give it to him? I'm scared that... Is this Onigiri your submission for this festival? Yes. This is my entry. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll now begin the judging. The last entry, your majesty's onigiri. Mmm, clearly homemade, there's no doubt. Well, let's give it a try. The aftertaste, the texture, I'm full and my energy is fully charged. You're full from her rice ball. Uh, okay, all entries have been evaluated. Please wait a moment for the announcement of the results. The contest has ended. I shall now announce the results. Third place was taken by Josh, who got 101 points. Woo! Thank you, very much. Thank you very much. Second place was taken by Nancy, who got 168 points. I guess that's what a little hard work can get you. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to announce the champion. The champion of this cooking contest is... Clorica, who got 186 points. Thank you very much. Can I have your autograph? Yeah, we did not too bad for our first year. I mean, I don't know if you can get worse than third place, but yeah. <laughs> uh, you will. Oh, so for the Rune Factory uh, 5 Digital Deluxe, you will get 12 or 13 outfits for the main character. Oh, wow. And all are designed like the Marriage Candidates clothing from Rune Factory 4. I think I'm going to get that then. Congratulations yeah. Especially if it's on sale, I'm gonna check that out. Oh, so I actually, <laughs> I actually get another onigiri treasure. Ooh, some bread. Oh, some cooking bread. Oh, so let's eat this, learn some new recipes. Oh, maybe I should practice. Oh, okay. Yeah, let's practice cooking more. So let's see if he has anything to say. So, okay. So now I think our bag is getting kind of full. It's getting kind of full so let's put a few things away and actually I like that the festival doesn't take up all of your day right it took not even like one hour and we're done with the festival so uh, that's kind of good this means that we have a lot of time to do everything else I'm gonna keep food okay I'm gonna keep that and yeah, let's go explore. So I'm gonna go find Forte, my dear Forte. Where she, okay, she's on the beach. Only 10% off, but still better than nothing. Yeah, oh, definitely. The Deluxe gives you wearable, okay, yeah. Uh, normally I'm only attracted to other women in these games, but I prefer the Fox guy. I forgot his name, but he was nice and funny. I'm not sure who the, <laughs> I'm not sure who that is, but I don't know all the characters in Run Factory 4 yet. Yeah, you also get something if you have the Rune Factory 4 data on your Switch. Unfortunately, since I'm playing the North American version of Rune Factory 4, um, and I'm going to be playing the Japanese version of Rune Factory 5, I don't think that's going to work. But yeah, I know you can get a bonus if you use the if you have saved data from Rune Factory 4. I'm going to bed now. All right, thank you so much, Besen. Thanks for spending time with us on the stream. Yeah, you're gonna get it in the West as well. It's planned for 2021, so probably by the end of the year. Usually, I think for Rune Factory, usually it's like six months difference. I feel terrible for the judge who had to taste my cooking. Oh no. Okay, so please come with me. You're gonna help us. She looks so scared, but you know what? You have to be brave. All right, follow me. All 
All right, so I'm always kind of <laughs> I feel like the camera is a little bit too zoomed in in this little area So I think this area should be unblocked now. Yeah Your majesty Oh, oh my gosh, okay <laughs> All right, what in the world he, was he just passing through? All right, I was wondering how that area was gonna unblock Your majesty, are you okay? Well, are you okay? I'm all right. I'm terribly sorry when I heard you were going to the ruins I thought that tree might be in your way. So I came to dispose of it Perhaps not the best reason to be out here, but nonetheless it is my reason. Well, your majesty. Good luck. Well, thank you so much Thank you so much. Oh, I almost forgot this is for you, leather gloves. Uh, what are these? They're my favorite gloves. I'm sure they'll come in handy. Are they for... I'm not sure. Are they for farming? No, no, they're for combat. You certainly do have farming on the brain, though. It seems after you stun monsters with fist weapons, you can lift them up and throw by pressing A. Throwing does a whole lot of damage, but also consumes a lot of RP, so be careful. I would definitely recommend mastering the use of fists. Don't forget, stun enemies and lift them up by pressing A. So, do I have to equip? Yeah, okay. Um, oh, okay, so I have to change. Uh, okay, so I would have to use the sword, and when they're stunned, I have to grab them and throw them. Okay, let me, let me try. Oh, so cute. <laughs> this monster is so cute, little apple. Okay, so let's try. No, no. When I see people break things, I think of my rage. Oh, hope you're <laughs> hope you're okay. I love these games characters so much. Please give people like them in Rune Factory Five. Yeah, I think we're gonna have. Usually, Rune Factory is pretty good uh, with character development and characters in general. So, I have no doubt we're gonna have interesting characters in Rune Factory Five too. Power wave. I don't know if that's the same one that I already have or if it's a different power and I'm just letting Forte fight for me. Okay, so I'm gonna need I'm definitely gonna need like a hammer and some kind of mining. Alright, like this and we've got some apples and alright, let's actually they're gonna spawn infinitely. So let's Check this out over here. Oh, oh yeah, and I just remembered. Yeah, there's these. <coughs> sorry, there's these uh, little extra fields that you can get near dungeons. I don't know if it has anything special, but yeah, it's always good to just keep in mind. So yeah, I'm gonna have to improve my mining to break this. So I'm not sure. So let's go down for now. Let's break that little portal. Ooh, what a beautiful view. Okay, so yeah, I think they talked about a bridge here. So we're gonna have to find a way to cross that. But for now, let's go over here. Do you guys remember when do you get the barn? When am I gonna <laughs> be able to start taming these little pets, these little monsters? Oh, some little spores. And I can't wait to start fishing. If you go to Margaret's house and talk to her at night, she'll give you a really good item. Oh, really? Okay, maybe we can try to do that when we come back. <laughs> These little apples are just so cute. So cute. Ha! <laughs> 
I forgot just how big oh my gosh that's a big one <laughs> I was gonna say I forgot how big the map is like there's really so much to explore in this game which is so nice oh 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 my gosh okay that's <laughs> that was really strong one look who's oh no so you're all right I'm asking 192 gold for the treatment it seems you don't have enough money on you well I can't very well take away treatment I'll just take whatever money you have oh my gosh okay so I just lost <laughs> all of my money, but it's it's all good. I didn't have a lot. Have you gotten to the first boss yet? So yeah, I'm already done with the first boss, and I'm gonna head to the second. Trying to head to the second dungeon, um, but <laughs> I failed miserably against that mushroom. Let's see if there's anything interesting I could sell. What about apples? Uh, I have lots of herbs, so let's sell some. Let's sell some mushroom. Okay, so someone said to go to Margaret's house at night, so I don't know if it's still too early. The hospital fees get so crazy. I know it's really like <laughs> when you when you pass out in this game, or like when you when you die, the, the consequences is just so expensive. I think it was also a, as a request, so the next few days you get your barn, probably, I see. Oh, there's probably another request I can do today. Oh yeah, make material stone. Oh, so I'm finally gonna be able to uh, get, I'm gonna get the hammer, I guess, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so finally. All right, let's do this. All right, so let's clear up our garden now. Better expensive doctors than none, like in Olive Town. Yeah, I wish there was some kind of clinic in Olive Town, honestly. Or if you could, like, be. I don't know, just like more consequences to, like, passing out in Olive Town. Because as of now, if you pass out. Oh, 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 wait, 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 wait. Um. Yeah, I wish you, you had to pay when you passed out in Olive Town or if you were maybe sick and you had to skip a day like in... So recently I'm streaming Harvest Moon 64 as well. And in Harvest Moon 64 when you pass out, like you're just sick and you have to skip a day. So that was a nice thing as well. My plants died. Oh no! Sorry to hear about that. Your real life plan, or and then, oh, let's see if we can. What do we get from this? Is that oh iron? I see. And okay, maybe let's take a bath, and after that. Nice we're gonna go, so someone said to go see Margaret, so we're gonna do that. Oh. Is there no one here? Wait. I feel like the schedules are <laughs> not always reliable. So there's no one here right now. Sorry. I will leave the town watch. I must be going. Oh, okay, yeah, so. Alright, so let's go see Margaret. Getting knocked out in a slam rancher takes some valuable items and you lose time. It sucks, but it makes you cautious. Yeah, I like when there's a consequence of <laughs> for dying, right? I think the worst is like in Minecraft where you just lose pretty much everything. But yeah, it really makes you more cautious and adds some challenge. Actually, I didn't play too much of Slime Rancher. Okay, so where's Margaret actually? Yeah, I didn't play Slime Rancher too much. I did buy the game. I did play a tiny little bit, but I never played too much. No one got stomach ache. Yeah, I hope no one got lost. Yeah. Apparently, she gives you an item, but I'm not sure. I killed the potato, it was an 8-pack. I see. 
Yeah, I kill plants too sometimes. I bought a lot of plants like last year. I was stuck at home, so I started getting into house plants, and a few of them. I feel I I feel like a few of them I overwatered, and yeah, that's not good. So all right, so I think. Yeah, I want to. I really want to take a bath, but let, let's go see if maybe uh, Lin Fa is back. Although our first moon game had less quality of life, but felt more challenging. Wish they would find the best mix of both. Yeah, definitely. I definitely agree with that. Yeah, I think we're just gonna sleep because I don't have. Oh. No. Yeah, I don't have energy, and yeah, there's not much I can do for now without. RP, so let's go to sleep. <sighs> All right, so let's see what today brings. Mornings are such sleepy times of day, they even sound it. Oh, I completely forgot to actually, we, <laughs> we finished the request, right? We completely forgot to actually complete it. Right. So what do we get for that? We get a few rocks. That's always good. Up. And now I'm really short on money. Okay, so oh, try fishing. Yes. So we're finally gonna go fishing for the first time. Write it down. All right. That's what I've been waiting for. So I love fishing when you. Have some extra time to kill in your day, it's always good. So let me go to the little beach. And yeah, I don't remember too much how the fishing works, but I'm guessing I have to just be cl a bit closer to the fish. <laughs> it seems like they don't care too much. Oh, 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 I think something's happening. Okay, all right. So I don't know if I'm going to have to press quickly or... Let's see. Oh, 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 that's super easy. Okay, I got a squid. It's a new record for the biggest catch. Yay. I found one of my best friends through that game. Oh, that's amazing. That's so nice when you can find people through games. Oh wait, Dragon Lake. Was I not at Dragon Lake? Uh, maybe because it's a squid, like it's not a fish. Like, does it have to be like a fish fish? Like, Dragon Lake. Yeah, let me try again. Sorry, I was reading the chat. I think I missed the fish. Okay, let's try to get this one. Alright, so let's see. We got a carp. And hopefully that's gonna work for a request. I had a longer nap than expected. I missed so much. Oh, shark. Well, I, I'm, at least you made it. Wait, I'm missing something. You can find fish near water in places like... Okay, let me... Fish now wants fish. Oh, okay. I need to... Oh, so I'm so stupid. Okay, I need, I need to give it to fish now, actually. Sorry about that. So, let's do this. So, fish is... No, Clorica. That's Volcanon. Wait, who's... Where is Vishnal? Um... Where is Vishnal? Where is our little butler? It's kind of hard with just these little... Oh, yeah. Alright. <laughs> so, Vishnal, let me give you my little fish. Let me give you... Some 
Cushion Carp. Have you gotten Horse Boy? Horse? What's Horse Boy? I don't think so. I have no, <laughs> I have no idea what that is. So I'm guessing not. Mama, it's the very first fish I had Thank requested. So Thank you so much. Please take this as a reward. Thank you so much. 300 G. Is something wrong? Do you know Elisa? Elisa? Let's try this. Have you ever heard the request box talking? <laughs> I can't say that I have. I'm truly sorry, but I must be off. Goodbye. Thank you again for the fish. Who's horse boy? That's... <laughs> I have no idea who's that. Ooh, spinach! Oh yeah, that's the spinach that I grew. Oh yeah, that's really quick, right? So, should I sell it? Yeah, let's just sell it. I'm gonna keep a few, but... Yeah, spinach seed. Ah! Sorry, <laughs> I didn't realize. I didn't think it would be ready already. So, alright, let's put this here. I'm gonna keep a few for cooking. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna keep a few for cooking. So, actually, I should have used the sickle to get more seeds, right? I think that's what I should have done. Don't worry about it, you'll know him when you see him. I see, I see. <laughs> I'm so curious now. Who's Horse Boy? So let's plant some extra turnips. Horse Boy is Dialast. Oh, I see. Okay, let me, let me just uh, complete that request and then we should have a second request as well. No, uh, wait, yeah, I think there's gonna be another request, right? Oh, there's a lot. So, fertilizer bin, monster barn. So, I think we're gonna go with the monster barn. Oh, no, tomorrow. Okay, yeah. I think it's because the stone one, I just finished it this morning. You can sell higher level seeds or crops and buy them at that level later. Oh, I see. I didn't know. Oh, okay. I didn't remember that. Um. I didn't realize how many farming games there are out there now. Yeah, there's like <laughs> a lot of farming games recently, definitely. Oops. So let me take care of my crops. I'm gonna plant the toy herb. Uh, I'm gonna plant all the seeds I have. First time playing Rune Factory 4. It's not my first time playing, uh, but last time was like in 2013, so it's been a while. It's been a, ri a while. Alright, let me. Do I feel like with that field, I feel like I'm planting a lot of stuff. I'm gonna need a better watering can eventually. Not sooner than later, hopefully. I don't remember quite well when you can start getting better tools. I'm on the Carl Island early release list. It's so, exci so excited about this one. Yeah, definitely Coral Island is one of the ones I'm the most excited about. The Alpha is starting in July, so quite soon. Quite, quite soon. What happens if you hammer your crops off oh, nothing? Let me clear everything up. So let me just put my wood and my stones in there. I think I have quite a few. Like this. Oops. Keep up the great work. Your Olive Town videos help me tons a lot. I told many Twitch streamers who I help about your videos. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> huh. 
years ago I would have said Dolce, but now I'm more of a Shao guy. Clarica is my soulmate though. Yeah, I don't know who I'm gonna go for yet. I feel like all the characters are interesting, so it's hard, gonna be hard to make a choice. Yeah, I just find these types of games to be so relaxing. But yeah, I'm glad there's a lot of farming sims coming out recently. So, what are we gonna do? Okay, let me buy... Maybe I could buy some extra seeds with my extra money. Yeah, they're all good characters, yeah. Um, okay, no, that's the wrong shop. So the general store is this one, right? Welcome. Welcome. Let me show. Welcome. Let me see. So I like this spinach because this spinach is only two days to grow. So you know what? I think. How much money do I? Oh no! Wait, wait, wait! wait. I have four ninety-four. So. Four twenty. So let's plant that. I'm gonna go take a bath because I don't have any more energy left. So we're gonna plant our spinach and yeah, we're gonna take a bath. How can I help you? I want to use the bath. Oh my gosh, Farmville. <laughs> Farmville was a classic. I can't remember my first, but first one I really put time into was Animal Crossing. Yeah, I remember, <laughs> oh my gosh, Farmville brings back some Memories. I think that's the only kind of Facebook game that I actually played. Back in 2009, 2008. Hello. So let's plant our spinach. So one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven. I feel like my garden is just gonna be so <laughs> disorganized because I just have like a little bit of every seed. It almost looks like a like a garden in the Harvest Moon One world, <laughs> you know, where it just have like two or three seeds of each crop and it's just super messy. But at least I have lots of crops, so that's good. So, all right, let me try to find the forte and we're gonna go exploring again. And I'm not too sure where is she. Okay, I think she might be in the restaurant because there's a lot of little faces, but I can't see too well, so. Farmville used to be the only reason I was on Facebook. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much the only thing I was doing on Facebook, but yeah, I don't use Facebook anymore. But I used to. Yeah. So, alright, Forte, please come with me. I'm sorry to disrupting your lunch. Yeah, I like how dialogues also, like, people, like, you just talk to one person, but everybody comes in and, like, chats, right? There's, like, mul multiple character dialogues, if you want. Alright, so you know what? Okay, alright, so let's do this. Oh, there's a little chest, so let me take my weapon. Oh yeah, I didn't try that glove thing yet. Oh gosh, I just broke I just broke the chest. I didn't remember you could do that. But yeah, you can break chests. So Oh 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 something's happening here. What was that? I think it came from over here. Let's check it out. Alright, let's check that out. It came from that side, right? Oh, 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 that's the bridge. Hey, Josh. Wow, it really is you. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? I could ask you the same kill. Yeah, <laughs> I was doing some field work over there. I'm studying the ancient runes around here. I'm trying to learn more about the land. Mm. 
Yeah, I felt amazed how they talk something else almost each day for a year of so Mercury. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of different dialogues. That's really something. Uh, so I'll often go poking around with them to see what I can find. So... Yeah, wow, that's impressive. Ah, uh, no, it's nothing special. I don't have to worry too much. I can use escape to go back to town in the blink of an eye. Oh, so everybody can do that. Oh, yeah, speaking of which, there's some place I have to be. Gotta run. Alright, so let's see. Oh, I remember. I remember this building. What's in there? I don't. Um, oh, shirt. Okay, let me see if I can wear. Yeah, I don't have any shirt right now, so let's put this on. It's kind of weird how, like, my character is just, like, shaking so much whenever I move. Um, okay, all right, so... Who is that? Ho, ho, ho! I'm a fortune teller. I, call, I can call upon the spirits to check your compatibility with someone you care about. With whom would you like to know your compatibility factor? Let's go with Forte. Let's get started. Meka lekahi. Lekahi neho. I see it. I see the lines of fate stretched between you two as a clear as day. It's only so so. Your compatibility quotient is 59. I see. I understand. What is wrong, Josh? It seems you've become quite accustomed to handling your weapons. It's easy to tell. You move with much greater confidence now. Thank you so much. So, yeah, let's go back to fighting. Could you date? <laughs> I'm trying to read the chat. It seems like you could date multiple characters in Rune Factory 4. I didn't know there was something you could do. That's not necessarily something <laughs> I'm into, something that I would do, but that's definitely interesting if you can date multiple characters. Alright, so can you destroy the. <laughs> Are there not to do it? I don't know if you can destroy it. So, this is the water ruins. Alright, this voice, as Venti said, this is definitely where the voices are coming from. I don't know if I'm ready for this. I feel like maybe I'm not, but actually maybe I am. I feel like, yeah, I don't have any potions or anything. So, I don't know if I'm really ready for this, but let's just do our best and see how it goes. And, yeah, we're gonna see the horse boy everybody was hyping <laughs> earlier. You can date everyone at the same time. I see. <laughs> I couldn't imagine Josh breaking multiple characters' hearts at once. Never. That's on tablet. There's something written on it. Let's see. Oh, oh, oh. What? Dog, what are you doing here? I could ask you the same thing. <laughs> this place is crawling with monsters. Sp spacing out like that could get you killed. I guess I was wrapped up in trying to figure out what's written here. Jeez. Didn't even notice. Yes, and that's what I'm worried about. Pay attention to your surroundings. Seriously, thank you. Alright, man, I'm a nervous wreck when I'm around you. Take this, you might need it. Fireball. Oh, I think I already have this, but thank you so much. Yeah, I never used it actually for sorry, battle, sorry. so uh, let's try that. Are you familiar with the rune sphere? Rune sphere. Can say I'm familiar with that term. I guess you did lose your memory. I should have figured. What's it all about? I'm just looking for it. That's all. Nothing you need to concern yourself. No way, I should go. All right. I'm thinking, uh, another thing I love in Rune Factor 4 is the mix of old and new music. Yeah. Well, I never played the older Rune Factory, so <laughs> actually, I don't know. Uh, one, But the music is really good. That's all I can say. You'd better not be committed to that fool. Josh, don't go alone. Alright, so... Yeah, I wanna try... Yeah, you know what? I think <laughs> Fireball is not... Maybe it's gonna be better when I... When my fire skill or my magic skill or whatever goes up. But for now, I think my sword is better use of my energy and time. So... Let's... Go over here. Oh, 
Oh yes, potions. Yeah, I said earlier I didn't have any potions, so that's problem solved. Ah, oh, these arrows are so annoying. Oh, she can heal you actually. Oh gosh, these arrows. I'm, I'm gonna let her take care of these little guys and I'm gonna do the ones with the arrows. And okay, let's see. This looks like a fascinating ore. So let me see what is that. Oh, that's iron. <laughs> I have no idea why it was purple, but yeah. Let's take this back. Oh my gosh. These arrows are <laughs> so annoying. I know you can hit the arrows with your sword, but I can never seem to do it right. Different question. Can you actually change the voice to Japanese while keeping the English dialogue? Yeah, that's something. Well, I don't think you can do it there, but you can do it from the main screen. Yeah. So I'm thinking probably in the Western version of Rune Factory 5, it's going to be the same thing. So you can pick the Japanese dialogues. The Japanese voice. <laughs> Oh, we got the aquamarine. Oh, I see. Hi, I just found your account recently through your Star of Seasons videos. They've been really helpful and I appreciate them so much. Oh, thank you so much, Jasmine. I'm glad you were able to find my videos and that they were helpful. So, okay, let me just get a little potion before we continue. Alright, let's keep going. Oh, we've got little turtles here. Oh, and there's another guy. Okay, I'm gonna take care of that guy. I feel like she's not <laughs> doing anything. She's just kind of following me. Okay. Oh, you can't. Oh, you have to hit their face. Oh, they're kind of really hard. Maybe their tail. Maybe fireballs. Oh, yeah, I think fireballs might be a... Oh, yeah, it's a lot better. I see, I see. I get it. I get it. Oh, I think there's some interesting mineral over there. Let's see. Up. This one. Ruined crystal. Oh. I think I might have... Oh, wait. What? <laughs> wrong button. Oh, yeah. Alright, I'm back. Forgot I had an assignment due tonight, so finished it. Ooh! Good job on finishing your assignment. <laughs> Glad to see you're back. Turtles are my favorite animals. Yeah, you know what? I love turtles too. On my Animal Crossing island, I used to <laughs> have turtles everywhere on one of my islands. Uh, what's this? So, wait, when did I just get, actually? Water laser. Oh, I see. Am I gonna have... Mm. The villages are usually bad at the start, but the more you use them, the more useful they become in battles. Oh, I see. Oh, that's interesting. But I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure what's this, but okay, that's gonna be it for this area for now. Let's try to go somewhere else. Blue orb is for later. Okay, all right. Thank you. All right, so let's go. I think we're good with like the upper, with like this part of the dungeon. So let's go back here. I'm so thankful for that mini map. Um, that really helps. So I think I might be able to break this with the hammer. Uh, I'm not sure. It 
says material stone. Oh. Oh no, actually, no. <laughs> never mind. I thought I could break. No, you know what? Never mind. Okay, so let's go on that side. I remember how long I came back here and tried so much stuff out. Yeah. Alright, so... Ah! Oh my gosh, you guys... Oh, okay. I'm so glad she's here to heal me, at least. Because if I was just by myself, that would be kind of hard. Yeah, let me take care of this. Like, what is she doing? She's not doing much. Okay, alright. Oh, 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 what's this? There's something here. Blade shard. So I'm guessing that's gonna be useful for making tools or something eventually. Oh. Eventually. Just I'm sorry for replacing paths. Don't don't be sorry. Just make sure you leave enough space for resources to spawn if you want to get stuff, but yeah, don't don't be sorry. Oh gosh, it's 9 p.m. I just heard the owl and I was like, oops, it's getting late. So let me just Oh, well, ah. Oh, and she just healed me right after. Oh, no, 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 no. 363 gold. I'm just... Every time I, every time I start making a little bit of money, this doctor has to take every, everything from me. Every time you just take this. Ah. Zero G, we're back. <laughs> back to square one. Still pissed that they changed Ember's name in the German translation. Oh, did they? How is she called? <sighs> We're back to no money. Yeah. Okay, let's go to bed. Let's go to bed. Yeah, I really have to be careful about dying. Um, yeah. Mornings are just are such sleepy times of day, they even sound it. Let's make the most out of this lovely day. And let's see if she has anything to say. Let's see if Venti has anything to say. This town is filled with nothing but good hearted folk folks. It has way it has always been so I'm proud of that. I bet that's because they all love you, Venti. What What are you saying? Are you blushing? <laughs> of course not. I do not blush. I was simply surprised is all. You know, watching you like that makes it real hard to believe that you're a god. It's okay. I was just thinking that I want to protect the things my friends want to protect too. That's all. And let's see if there's any. So I have a lot of prince points right now. Let's see if there's anything interesting. So I think for these licenses, I can wait a little bit. Let's see for the festival. So bean tossing festival, bean toss contest. I think we can do that. Uh, that's in a few days. Her name in the German version is Flavia, but I was so used to Ember way too much. Yeah, I don't know why they changed it that much. How does it feel to go from Olive Town to this? Yeah, it's completely different, but you know what? It feels... <laughs> it feels good. I feel like there's a lot of things. Uh, yeah, I can't wait to play more and yeah, I did play this game before, but it was such a long time ago. Oh, battles accessories. Yeah, there's a lot you can research, right? So okay, let's do the requests, and I think I'm gonna do the request and I think after that uh, I have to go eat dinner soon. I'm starting to starve. It's almost 10 p.m. here and um, there's gonna be another stream at 11 a.m. tomorrow so in like 13 hours. So I think as much as I want to continue playing Rune Factory 4, I wish I could play all night but I'm, I'm really gonna have to eat dinner so I'm gonna do today's request. Uh, build a monster barn, I think that's something I'd like to do because I need I need monsters. He does love he does love cute monsters. Uh, but that's not important. Let me read his letters. Monster barns are the places where tamed monsters live. By building one, you can start keeping friendly monsters of your own. You can build them in the fields by making an order to help you get started and giving you some lumber and material stone. 
Alright, so that's easy. I already have everything. Oh, well, I'm gonna need an... So, I have to make an order. So, I don't know if I'm gonna have enough points. Build monster barn. Oh, yeah, actually, I got the points for that, too. And okay, let's call it Trinip Barn. I think that's a cute name. I don't know if we can change it later. And let's place this. I think you can have more than one, right? So at first, oh yeah, remember. So later you're gonna unlock areas on each. You can unlock other areas, right? Oh yeah, so the little monster barn is here. So let me just uh, maybe move this out of the way, pick it up, and maybe place it here. And yay, so I'm gonna be able to have a few monsters here. Okay, so let's take a spinach. So if I sell the seeds, I'm gonna get the higher quality in the store, right? So I don't know if that's... What's the quality of this seed? Level 2. Oh, I see. So if I sell this, I'm gonna get higher quality seeds next time I want to buy them. So thank you for whoever gave me that tip earlier. And wait. So it's raining. But my crops are not watered, right? That's a little bit confusing. I'm not sure. Maybe th does it take a few hours of rain for them to be watered? Or is it not going to water them? I'm not too sure. So I'm just going to water just in case. I feel like half of them are watered. I'm not too sure. Maybe because it's like a light rain. I have no idea. Uh, so yeah, our request is done. Generally, use your sickle to get higher quality seeds. I see. They will get water. It takes time. I see. That's good to know. So here's our reward. So we get the brush to groom the monsters. And let's see. Uh, maybe befriend the monster. Write it down. Do you know how to make a good friendships with monsters? Try to give them food or items. If they like your gift, they'll become your friends. But high level monsters are hard to make tame. Select the monsters carefully by considering your own level. Also, you can't make friends with monsters when your monster barn is full. Yes. Alright, so I think I can start with woolies. So I think usually, if I remember correctly, they like the items that they usually give, right? So for the woolies. I think if you just give them maybe I don't re maybe I'm remembering everything wrong but if I remember correctly I just give him some wool and he should be happy don't don't hit him oh yay that was easy so I, I thought you had to use the brush actually you don't uh, so how should we name how should we name our first little woolly they like anything you can even give them cans and wood oh I see my favorite monster is the apple wand <laughs> which roll cracks me up yeah they're super cute so how should we name our woolly Fluff, yeah, I <laughs> I knew the first suggestion was gonna be fluff or fluffy. Yeah, fluffy <laughs> shump wulu. Mm. Kumo like cloud. Oh, that's a good wulu. Yeah. Wooly, Marshmallow. Marshmallow is cute. Oh, there's only... Oh my gosh, only six characters. <laughs> That's <laughs> just like in the Harvest Moon 64. Uh, <laughs> the character limit is so short. 
So marshmallow is not gonna work. Maybe fluffy. Yeah, that's. Yeah, we're gonna go with fluffy. Yeah, let's go with fluffy for the first one. Maybe. Yeah. Let's go with that. Fluffy, is this okay? It is okay. It's not the best name, but it is okay. And so it's gonna follow. Oh, that's so cute. He's following me. So. If I talk to him. Oh, you can ride. I, I didn't remember you could. Oh, <laughs> that's so cute. Oh my gosh, that's adorable. I didn't remember you could ride like any kind of pets. And I've seen in Rune Factory 5, you're gonna be able to ride the pets with your companion. So they're gonna be able to ride the pet with you. That's <laughs> that must be so uncomfortable for like I'm on his head. But <laughs> anyway, uh, let's go in the barn. That's so cute. Fluffy looks happy, hurry. So send home does that mean okay yeah oh my gosh she's so excited uh okay all right so we finished our quest oh we got some fur it's nine wanted to play this but they do not have same-sex marriage yeah unfortunately that's not an option hopefully maybe in rune factory 5 you can find cows by going straight down from the water ruins oh maybe we can check that this is a footer bin for the monsters by placing fodder inside, the monster's friendships level will go up. You can get more fodder by growing fodder seed sold at the store. I will share some with you today, but you'll have to grow the rest on your own. All right. So I don't remember. Can your animals get sick? And I don't think... Oh my gosh, I'm full. Um, your, your animals cannot get sick or anything, right, in this game? So I think I can put this inside. Oh, I, I wish you could do that in Olive Town. Just place stuff inside. So okay, I need one. Okay, so it tells you how many you need every day. So my little Fluffy is gonna be fed. It's my first live stream with Josh. Oh, I am I'm glad you were able to make it. Unfortunately, <laughs> we're almost at the end. Uh, that's <laughs> actually you're, yeah, we're almost done. Unfortunately. If you overwork them, they get weak. I see. Yeah, you can change your character's appearance to the opposite gender. Yeah, I'm guessing that's a kind of workaround, but... Yeah. So, oh, maybe we should get a little chicken. No, 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 don't. Okay, you go home. Uh, can you, oh, stand, maybe stand back a little? I don't know. I don't know how to tell her. Can I tell her not to? Oh, let me pick that up. I don't know if there's a way to tell her not, not to. Oh, okay. You know what? My bag is full. Let me just put some stuff in my storage, actually. Hello. Okay, Josh, thank you. You have convinced me to play Run Factory 4. Ah, well, I'm glad. I'm hope. Hoping you will like it. I'm pretty sure you will. Okay, yeah, let me sell some stuff. So, let's see. Let's sell this. This. And I'm not sure what mushroom spore could be an ancient menace from outer space. I'm not sure what the spore is for. Oh, I have two X. Oh, this one is better, right? Attack three, attack 42. Okay, I'm gonna sell the cheap X. Squid, spinach, turnips. All right, and then there's a few things that I can put here. <laughs> Okay. 
All right, so let's go. Let's go get another. Oh, I think my turnips are ready. Yeah, let me just go get one more little monster. So we're gonna get a little chicken or a little cow. And after that, I'm, I really have to go eat dinner because it's 10 p.m. now. So yeah, let me go get just one more little monster. So, oh. Nice. Okay, so we're okay. Actually, I went the wrong way. I need to go towards the water ruins. Super late, just take care. Yeah, I know, I know. Okay, all right. So you, 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 be careful. Um, you know what? Let's split it up here. Goodbye. Goodbye. All right. So let me get that little chicken. So apparently you can it doesn't matter too much what you give them, so I'm just gonna give her some medicinal herb. I feel like it's super easy to tame the I mean, I mean these are easy monsters, but I remember in Rune Factory Tides of Destiny, like Rune Factory Oceans, you had if I'm not wrong, you had to beat them up first. And then when they were weak. You had to like brush them and it was like super hard but I feel like in Rune Factory 4 it's just super easy so I'm wondering how it's gonna be in Rune Factory 5 clock so how should we name our chicken oh Aya thank you <laughs> thank you so much for the super chat even though you just joined and like I'm gonna eat dinner thank you so much controversy about gender marriage is unfortunately still a thing in Japan yeah At least they made you, you have the option in story of seasons but yeah for rune factory it's not yet so how should we name our chicken ah uh, yeah i think i'm gonna name this one for you thank you so much <laughs> for the super chat so this one's for you ah uh, yeah that's gonna be your chicken what did you feed that i just gave the medicinal herb so let's send. Oh, you can ride. Oh, I want to see how it looks when you ride the chicken. Actually, should we get? Okay, should we get a cow too? Maybe we should do the whole, the whole thing. What? What do you get from the apples? Oh, they give you apples, I guess. Oh, that squirrel, so cute. So I think there should be cows, someone said, around oh, oh, around here. Oh, 800G. I need to make sure the doctor <laughs> doesn't take that from me. And I think some monsters are pretty good in battle, right? Like, I'm guessing those big beetles must be quite strong. Oh, yeah, okay. So, all right. So here, let's try with the medicinal herb. Okay, yeah, they're a little bit tougher, actually. Oh, 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 no. She's picky. She's quite picky. Oh, no. Okay, let's try something fancier. Let's try maybe some fish. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, we made it. Maybe if you give them something more valuable, you have a higher chance. I'm not too sure. So how should we name our cow? The apple monsters don't give you apples, unfortunately. Oh, I see. So what's what's a good name for a cow? <laughs> Clara you get fruits from trees I see I didn't remember I don't remember growing trees baby bell <laughs> baby bell that's cute I haven't eaten a baby bell in so long 
if you brush them, they become easier to tame. Oh, I see. I see. That's good to know. I really want to give Rune Factory 5 a try, but I wouldn't do it if we can date same sex. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't think that's gonna happen. Yeah, the character limit is so, so low, right? Hmm. What name? What name? Okay, I'm gonna pick the next suggestion that comes in. Whatever suggestion it is, that's gonna be the name. Better choose something good. Mm, G beef. Okay, well, <laughs> that's. I don't like naming my animals. Like, that's so cruel. But okay, I, I said I would. I said I would take the next suggestion, so I'm gonna do it. But yeah, I don't like naming my cows beef. But yeah, all right, let's go home. Yeah, that makes a bit more sense uh, than riding the woolly. That makes a lot more sense. So all right, let's go home. Yeah, it's kind of a hard with just six characters. Like for Japanese, it makes sense because you can fit more in one character. But yeah, in English, it's just really hard to find a good name. All right. So here we are. So we've got Aya. We've got G Beef and fluffy and already <laughs> they are giving me stuff so that's good so let's sell that let me see how much money i'm gonna make with that so one egg sells for 280 so i'm finally gonna start making you know what yeah i'm finally gonna start making some money every day which is good and with that being said, guys, I'm going to thank you so much for being here today for this. Oh, I just noticed uh, the character is actually controlled with the gyro, the gyroscope, like from the controller. So like when you move your controller, that's why <laughs> when I open the menu, my character is just like this. But actually, ah, OK, um, yeah, I see. <laughs> um, anyway, yeah, thank you so much, guys, for joining uh, tomorrow in 13 hours i'm gonna stream story of seasons pioneers of olive town so i'm gonna see you pretty shortly and yeah thank you so much for joining if it's your first time and you don't want to miss out other streams feel free to subscribe also feel free to leave a like on the stream on the video before you leave and yes yeah, so i'm gonna see you tomorrow and if not um yeah also feel free to join the discord the link is in the description so Every time I stream, I'll post a little announcement there and everybody's so nice there. So yeah, thank you so much. And that's going to be pretty much it for today. So yeah, thank you so much. And I'm going to go eat dinner and bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.